Happy Monday, Stella. Early gang, huh? Thanks for coming by so early. All right, let's go ahead and switch on over. Why not, huh? Start a few minutes early today. We're ready and everything, right? All right, so here it is. Paper Mario Part 1. Hopefully, we'll be starting Raft this week on Wednesday. Um, I believe the guy said that they were down. Gonna definitely, like, get the time and everything is cool with him um, today, so. All right, cheer for that. Got it now. Yeah, so I'm pretty excited for the raft, and uh, then we will have Friday. I already downloaded it, bought it. I uh, got near replicant, so that'll be starting on Friday. So it really should be a cool game. It might be a really weird story, but it, I think it'll be interesting either way. Um, so definitely tune in for that. That'll be cool. But yeah, I am pretty psyched about this. I think this will be pretty fun. I mean, just look at that. Doesn't that look like fun right there? I sure think it does. So how's everybody doing today? You guys having a good Monday? Hopefully you're not working too hard. Hmm? Work-life balance, you know. Do we got anything uh, cool we want to share or anything? And Stella's loft. Yeah, you feeling better though, Stella? You know, that uh, vaccination shot had you down for the count. Another Monday, another week of great streams. All right, yeah, I hope so. Thank you very much, Nightwolf. Oh, and also on Friday, um, it's my birthday Friday, so I'm going to be doing an uh, extra stream on Friday uh, playing Pokemon Snap. So that'll also be on Friday, so don't, don't miss that. If you're cool with, like, lurking and working in the middle of the day or whatever, it'll probably be an early middle or middle of the day stream, I'm thinking. I do feel better about this. Uh... But this, there, me, for a loop. Oh, through you, for a loop. Gotcha, gotcha. I got it. <laughs> I'm glad that you do feel better. That's good. And now you're, you know, stronger against the virus. <laughs> you just get a baby bunny too? Nice. That's awesome. That's awesome for that baby bunny. Thank you for that early happy birthday. I appreciate that. And yeah, my gifts for to myself were near replicant because I'm pretty excited for that. Um, and I got myself Pokemon Snap. I'm gonna get that. That's also a birthday present to me. And then I also bought Death Stranding because it was on sale, and I've always wanted to play that one. So I'll probably play that one in my free time, unless anybody's interested in watching that. Because I don't know. There's a lot of mixed reviews on the story uh, and how exciting or lack thereof uh, it is. But I really like Kojima's story, so I'm pretty excited for it. So I'll probably be playing that in my free time. All right, what do you guys say we jump into this, huh? Uh, what's a gift that you would want that you wouldn't buy yourself? That's a hard thing to ask for. I just feel like something that someone genuinely like made them think about me, I guess. You know what I mean? Like I saw this and I thought of you. I, I like that kind of thing because it's like it doesn't have to like be really. I mean, I, like, getting utility kind of stuff is cool, you know, like, my dad bought me my stand-up desk or whatever, and that's that's amazing, you know. Um, but, uh, like, just getting just, like, something that's just sentimental or something, I think that's the kind of cool thing, um, you know. Just the fact that you're doing it is already cool, but if the thing that you bought me wasn't just something, like, some product that most people would like, but it was something that you thought I would like, that's be pretty, pretty, that'd be pretty cool, like a book, you know that I, I might enjoy or something like that. That would be a gift I would not buy myself, but would be cool to get. I know it's like probably one of the hardest type of gifts to get, but that's why I don't expect gifts from like anybody. You know what I mean? So, but uh, I, I mean, I accept just about anything, anything. Just the fact that someone's giving me a gift is pretty awesome. You know, that uh, means a lot. But, uh, yeah, I can be hard to buy for, like, for my parents, like, growing up and everything. As soon as I started making money, I just started buying everything I wanted for myself. <laughs> so. But I always just tell my mom, like, you can just buy me some, like, like, a nice shirt or something, you know? Like, that's something I don't normally go out and buy. And I would love to have more nice shirts, you know? Should I be Dom or should I just be Mario? And I think it's probably just Mario either way, right? And this is just the name of the file. Why'd I do capital M's? Oh, that doesn't look good. There you go. Come in. 
There we go. Wow, one has been created. All right. Uh, one thing uh, that I thought was fun or cool, I guess, news I did was I got, finally got um, my basil plants into a little hydroponics setup. Not my tower, because I have a separate one that I'm trying to use for herbs. It's like a little bit smaller, or herbs. Um, and yeah, so I finally got those going. They're sitting in my kitchen, and I'm excited to see if they don't die. <laughs> so many things I tried to do with plants have died. Yeah, long and basil, right? Yeah, I got them. I, I got them in this little like Tupperware that I cut holes out uh, of the lid, and I also like painted the whole thing black because it was clear. Because um, I guess the light can make like algae like grow faster or something like that. So having it dark helps. Um, and yeah, so I've cut holes in it so I can put the little cups in there, and then um, I have two little holes with um, an aerator going into them. Uh, like basically what you use for like a fish tank or whatever, but just just constantly oxygenate the the water So that it doesn't get stagnant or whatever because they can like suck all the oxygen out of the water basically and it can just become an oxygen deprived water and uh, that can lead to your plants dying so um, I read in there that putting um, an aerator in there can help that so I've got two little aerators on either side. It's pretty cool. Do you keep them in there until they get bigger or always I'm hoping to keep them in there like for the life of the plant, I but I don't really know. I haven't gotten that far yet. <laughs> you know what I mean? Um, I have six of them going just because I'm hoping one of them actually becomes healthy. But I think I'll just be able to leave it in there um, because the cups should be able to hold a basil plant. You know, so I think uh, you should be able to harvest from it and everything right there in the the hydroponics system or whatever. I also planted a little thing of chives. I uh, 3D modeled and printed this little like rectangle. It was supposed to be like one of my bonsai plant pots, like for when it was really young, uh, but it didn't last. Um, so I have these like these cool little claws that I modeled on the corner and everything. It's pretty cool. I think it's cool. <laughs> but uh, I, anyways, I reused it um, and put chives in it. So I'm hoping for some chives. That'd be cool. Hey, what's up, Layla? How's it going? Thank you for joining us for some uh, Paper Mario. We've been chatting away, so we haven't gotten started yet. So you haven't missed a thing. So you're all good. I was just talking about my uh, little herb garden thing. I just started uh, my basil on my uh, um, hydroponic system, not the tower that I showed you guys, but a smaller one. I can show you guys a picture of it sometime. I just cleaned it up, so it's definitely much more like photogenic because <laughs> it was kind of dirty from the last my last attempt. But I got it all set up. Oh, and I also ordered some different um, fertilizers, like liquid fertilizers, uh, that I've seen more people use than the one that I, I bought a general one last time. But this one's more of like three different ones that I can use depending on the plant. So um, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube use them. And um, Anne, who's uh, also a member of our community, she uses them as well. And it's, they've worked for her. So I'm excited to get those. Those come in, I think, on my birthday. So... Hopefully I'll be feeding them just the right stuff to get some nice big leaves on them. So that would be pretty cool. Yeah, solid starters. Yeah, they seem really easy. You know what I mean? So, especially the chives because they're so small. It's just like grass, you know? So it's so easy to keep that. Oh, yeah, my birthday is this Friday. Yeah, I'm going to do uh, try to do two streams on Friday. I'm going to do uh, Pokemon Snap probably midday on Friday. Um, midday is in Central Time in America. Um, and then it's going to be near Replicant on the Friday evening, so just uh, some games I bought for myself for my birthday, so hopefully you guys will want to hang out for a little bit. But uh, yeah, let's, uh, without further ado, let's get started, guys. Start game with file one, yeah, let's do it. Oh, it made the screen even smaller. It's already smaller. Alright, sweet, sounds good, Layla. Don't plan on getting stabbed again, so I'm down. <laughs> That's good. Oh, there's one thing. Uh, I guess, well, I got a few of you guys here. I was wanting to uh, flow past you guys. Is I was thinking about changing my schedule, like, all of the days of the week, just shifting it later an hour. What do you guys think about that? Hey, Mario, we got a letter from Princess Peach. I'll read to you, okay? All right, let's see. 
I'm throwing a party at my castle today. Mario and Luigi, I would be honored if you both could attend. Many guests from the distant towns are hoping to meet you. There will be a tasty sweets and all kinds of entertainment. I hope to see you there soon. Sincerely, Peach. A mamma mia. Yeah, I don't know that if it's better for me and my lifestyle, to be honest. it's It would be more of a, a decision that uh, for viewership wise, probably. You know, if it is like better for you guys to hang out um, a little bit later, then then why not do that, you know? But I do want to make sure I have enough uh, time for myself. That's why instead of extending it, I would rather shift it uh, the start of it, probably. Just for that uh, work-life hobby balance. <laughs> What a magnificent castle! I never get used to this place. It looks like lots of guests are over here. Nope, can I control now? Yeah! Man, ah, you're looking well. Please enjoy the party, okay? <laughs> what a weird thing. Like, please, please enjoy the party. I mean, I know it's really bad, but Peach, she, you know, she worked really hard on it, okay? <laughs> so please enjoy it. Hey, what's up, Pokey? How you doing? For me, you are an hour behind me, but I am aware that you have community members that are West Coast. Yeah, so would that be worse for you, Stella? Is that what you're saying? That if I went even later, would it be even harder for you to to catch it? Because that's the thing I, I worry about, too, because there's also people who from other countries that sometimes watch. And so, like, I kind of like having it just, like, as early as possible to let them come hang out. I don't know, you know what I mean? There's a lot to think about. So it almost like extending it would be better, but at the same time, you know, I gotta have that work-life balance. Look at the Peach's Castle! Hey, little warrior dude. Well, hello, ladies. Oh, welcome, Mario! The last party was lovely, wasn't it? Oh, by the way, Princess Peach has been waiting for you. Oh, it's controlling it. Oh, I'm just stuck, okay. <laughs> I thought it was like in an animation mode. I was like, oh, did I activate something? Doesn't seem to open. Guess we should go see Peach, huh? That little dude. Princess Peach went to her private chambers just now. She must be a bit tired. Alright. Greetings, Mario. I am the minister of Princess Peach's castle. It's good to see you here. When you're around, I feel like your kingdom is secure. Yep, our future looks bright. Look at all these pastries and such you got set out. Nice. Hey, old dude. Oh. Do you know a place called Shooting Star Summit? It's near the castle. It's such a romantic place. It's definitely the best place for a date. Trust me. Maybe you ought to, you know... Ask the princess to go there. God damn, guys. All right. Got some new retro games. Nice, Pokey. Sounds cool. Mortal Kombat's. Nice, man. For $3 on PC. Sweet, dude. Right on, right on. Generally catch the beginning of the streams and then drool. <laughs> Lifestyle will also significantly change when I return to work in my office. Oh, yeah. Would it change um, the viewing-wise? You think, or would you be the view? Would you be like be less likely to catch it? You think? Yeah, it's just something I'm thinking about. Maybe I could try it out sometime or something. I don't know. Maybe I'm overthinking it. I don't, you know. I don't know. Princess Peach went to her private chambers just now. All right, I'm trying to find her, dude. She's throwing a party and she goes straight to her room. I mean, come on, princess. So, but that. I gotta play them since they're all require keyboard and mouse, but still. Oh yeah, that, that's kind of wonky, right? <laughs> they can't use uh, game pads at all. I hope you'll be able to plug in some sort of game pad. We're waking up at 5:30 daily, so we'll be focused to go to sleep earlier. Okay, gotcha, gotcha. Totally understand what you're saying there, Stella. 
Only keyboard and mouse, huh? Well, that's a shame. <laughs> I guess if you really want to play him, that should work. Oh, Mario! You came to the party to see me. You're so sweet. Thank you. I was just resting a bit. It gets tiring greeting all those guests out there. Nobody will bother us here. Shall we relax and chat, just the two of us? It was a lovely day today, so I'm sure it's comfortable out on the balcony right now. Would you accompany me, Mario? I like how Mario doesn't say anything. He's like, uh -huh. yeah. <laughs> Oh damn, the controller you got doesn't work with MK4. <laughs> damn. Well, at least uh, as far as the for collector's sake, you own them. I guess, right? Got them on the list. All right, so Bowser's just coming to wreck Peach's party, huh? It's actually he's lifting the entire castle up to wreck her party, huh? Isolator. Does he know that Mario's here? Because it seems like he should have done that before Mario got there. You know what I mean? Oh, are you all right, Mario? What in the world was that? Oh my! Look, Mario! It's still daytime, isn't it? But I can see the stars outside. Yeah, I don't think we want to go outside now. Oh god, the air! This becomes a vacuum and sucks everybody out. <laughs> Long time no see, Princess Peach. Bowser! But this can't be! It was you who made the ground shake just now, wasn't it? Whatever did you do? Whoa! <laughs> yeah, that was me. I've lifted your castle up into the sky. It's sitting on the my castle now. Weren't expecting that, huh? Ha! This castle's under my control now, my dear. Now you will obey me. Except Mario's here. Huh? What? It's Mario? What a shock. <laughs> Mild shock. Huh. <laughs> huh. Not really. I expected you to turn up right on cue. You're just as annoying as ever. Unfortunately for you, there's nothing you can do this time. Haven't you learned your lesson by now, Bowser? You can never defeat Mario. Why don't you give up already? True, true, I've had my problems in the past, but this time it's different. This time, I'm going to win. Okay, tough guy, let's go. Oh, look at that. Mario, you can do it! Let's-a go. All I can do is jump, let's do the jump attack, ultra jump. Gave me a swipe. Good old Mario, always fighting. You're a thorn in my side. But today your pathetic little attacks won't beat me. Take a look at this. Look what I stole from Star Heaven. It's the Star Rod. This fine piece of work has the power to grant any wish in the whole wide world. And when I use the Star Rod to increase my strength, even you can't beat me, Mario. Oh God is gonna use it. Yeah, it did. I think it was the cricket sound. Is that what it was? If it was a sound one, yeah, they don't. I, I need to change, actually. I forgot about that. I think I can change it to where the sound ones actually put something on the screen to you, because I'd rather have their, like, a representation that you used to, you know what I mean? But what was it? Was it, like, a random sound one? If you didn't get to hear it, I can give it back to you. I found out how to do that the other day. I like how they give me, like, the ability to just kind of mess with the cards, you know? This card does nothing. Oh, okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah, that's the one that you can uh, break down into 
um, resources, though, to make other cards if you wanted to as well. Any card can be broken down, I think, into crafting resources, and then you can get a specific card that you want. I'm not quite sure how to do it yet, but I think Boland's done it. Um, so if he's around, maybe we could ask him about it. Whoa, how do you like that, Mario? So now he's like in star power mode, isn't he? Just instantly kills me. Just try another jump, even though he's invincible. Whoa, is that all you've got? How sad. You are best take some vitamins, because that didn't hurt at all. No, Mario! I mean, what am I... I guess I just gotta keep doing it, right? Scripted death. Scripted death! Just to, like, testing. Oh, yeah, yeah. Totally for testing. Absolutely. Absolutely. Yup, just as I expected. Mario's no match for the new me. It's not even worth my time to toy with you anymore, Mario. It's time to end this. Here we go, Mario. Good night. Oh, she Mario! Oh no, Mario, get up! Yes, oh yeah, I did it. <laughs> I finally did it. I beat my old rival, Mario, yes! Congratulations on your victory, your viciousness. That's what you are the king. That's why you're the king. As long as I have this star rod, everything I wish will come true. No one can stop me now. Well, well, well. I guess I might as well get rid of Mario. He's no good uh, to anyone now, that's for sure. Part of the reason you think the game is awesome is the opportunity for voice acting. Well, hopefully you're enjoying it then. <laughs> oh no, Mario! Definitely gonna have to stay hydrated. Hell yeah! What? <laughs> Thank you for that, so. Oh, look at that. That's not... I don't think that's rendering properly. I have to blame the, uh, the ROM on that one. Prologue, I plea from the stars. The prologue. Now we finally get to get started. Are they force ghosts? Can you guys hear it okay? Is the game loud enough? Almost looks like it might be a little quiet on the stream. Just let me know. It's good on mobile? Alright. Gonna call it good then. Oh, thank heavens! He's been gravely injured, but I think he'll recover. But Bowser has the shooting star rod. Now he's mightier than Mario. It's hopeless. All is lost. Everybody just calm down. As long as we keep it together, there's always hope now. Hey, what's up, Deku Bandit? How you doing? Thanks for lurking, bud. Our fates are in Mario's hands. We must try to revive him. Gather round, everyone. Send Mario your power. But how are they here? They were captured in the card. Though. They must just be force ghosts, right? Because you can, like, project them or just force projections or whatever they call them. Whew, that's it. That's all we can do right now. Mario, please get up. Please. Oh, it's a great game, right? Yeah, Stella, she uh, recommended it recently, and I thought, you know, why not? I haven't played that game since I was a kid, and it sounds like fun. 
So here we are. We've got Mario Mondays. Yeah, I'm also streaming over on Glimish. I don't know if you've seen the link yet. You can do exclamation point Glimish if you'd like. But uh, that's what the other chat on the screen is from. Got a lot of pizza over here as well. It really sounded like something fell somewhere around here. Oh, could that be? This red shirt, this hat, and this mustache. You know, this really looks like the one and only Mario. It couldn't be, could it? The real Mario? Hey, hey, wake up! Come on! Up and at him! No, no, he won't wake up! Oh, whoa, whoa, what am I gonna do? Dad! Goomba! Goomba Rio! Mario, can you hear me, Mario? I'm Eldstar, a star spirit. I have something very important to tell you. It concerns the princess and all of the Mushroom Kingdom. But sadly, I haven't the strength to talk to you here. Mario, I need to have you come to Shooting Star Summit. Please, Mario. We star spirits will be waiting for you at the summit. What if Mario just didn't hear any of that? It's like, huh, weird. Hmm? Oh, Mario! I'm so happy to see you awake! You haven't opened your eyes for days and days! Everyone's been worried sick! This place? This is Goomba Village. It's a tiny village that's just west of Toad Town. The only residents here are me and a single family of Goombas. The Goombas in the family are just the nicest folks you'll ever meet. They're the ones who found you unconscious in the forest and carried you here to get better. Huh? A star with a mustache? You're saying a star told you to go to Shooting Star Summit? No, I saw nothing like that, and I sure didn't see anyone coming in and out of this house. I wonder, Mario, maybe you just had a dream? Although, maybe not. It could have been some sort of message from a star spirit. They live in Star Heaven. Shooting Star Summit is the nearest place to Star Heaven, so that would make sense. Who knows, in any case, I'm glad to see you've recovered. I know the Goombas will be happy if you paid them a visit. Let's go. Oh, look at all these little tykes. What's that little Johnny? Hey Mario, I'm Goombario. I'm the I'm your biggest fan. You don't know what this means, but for me to meet you, seriously. All right. Mario, you look better. I'm so glad. I was really worried about you because you were lying there in the forest and you didn't open your eyes and all the whole and at all the whole time. Oh, land sakes. Mario, so nice to meet you. My. I'm so glad you woke up. I can't tell you how worried I was when you were just laying there asleep for so long. It's funny, she's got, like, lipstick on, but they still have, like, the line of the teeth or whatever coming out. She doesn't have the lipstick around the teeth, it's just around the little center part. Oh, yeah, here's a save point. Get this block to save game progress, alright. Might as well save. The game is over, your status will return to what it was the last time you saved, and you can continue to play. Okay, yeah, I know what saving means, thank you. <laughs> yeah, look at this little dude. Find this to be the cutest of the Mario series. Maybe it's because it's more like a little story and stuff. I don't know. Because I, I get what you're saying too, but it's just interesting to kind of figure out why. But I think it's just because maybe things get personified more. Um, because you know you actually get to talk to the Goombas and stuff. I guess maybe. 
I think maybe that's what it is. I'm not sure. Howdy, Mario. Feeling better? Feel free to rest in our house. You what? You have to leave right now? No, oh, Shooting Star Summit's something important, no doubt. Well, I believe that the summit is near Toad Town. You'll have to wait a bit. I have to fix this gate before you can head out to these. How are you going to fix the gate, little dude? That earthquake the other day really did a job on it. Did you feel that quake? Shoot, I thought the sky was falling. Just relax and don't worry. I'll have this fixed in a jiffy. All right. However you're going to do that, dude. If this is a lack of little arms or anything. Yeah, that make the overall game more charming. Yeah, I think so. It certainly adds something that other Mario games don't necessarily have, right? It's a little grainy. Oh, Mario. Hello, dearie. You may call me Goomba. I'm a Goomba grandmother, so that's where I got the name. Ho, 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 ho. Have you already met my lovely grandchildren? They are, aren't they sweet? Especially little Goombaria. Why, she looks just like I did when I was young. Ho, ho, ho. Look how, like, simple all the polygons are in here, too. Oh, you startled me. Um, yes, Mario, isn't it? So you've awakened at last. Good. You pulled through. Call me Goomba. I'm the Goomba grandfather, so I, I'm Goomba. <laughs> I'm sorry, but would you mind giving me the details later? I'm pretty busy fixing the veranda. All right. I like Goomba so far. <laughs> No, Wario! My dad was looking for you. He said to tell you that you fi finished fixing the gate. So I guess now you can travel east to Toad Town and Shooting Star Summit, huh? Mario, I know all about your adventures around the world. You've been everywhere. And you always get the best of the bad guys, every time. You're the coolest. I want to be just like you. Alright, little dude. That way, where's the hat? I wanted to go with you too, you know, but Daddy told me it was too dangerous, so I had to stay here instead. Hmm. Oh, what a job! Sorry to have you kept you waiting. The gate is finally fixed. If you take this road straight ahead, you'll eventually reach Toad Town, the home of Princess Peach's castle. I believe that Shooting Star Summon is just beyond there. It's too bad you can't stay. I feel like I just met you. But duty calls, I know. Come back and visit if you can. Best of luck, Mario. Hee 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 hee. Oh, the witch. <laughs> ah, my instincts were right. Mario, I can't believe you're on your feet after taking such a beating from King Bowser. You're a hardy one, all right. I was smart to come here to check on you. Wha what? What's that, Daddy? What's that weird flying thing? Weird, you rude little. I'm a beautiful Koopa with a beautiful name. Cammy Koopa. Hm. I wish I had time to teach you a lesson, brat. But no. Mario, hear this. It is useless for you to try to save Princess Pete. Ridiculous. Laughable. As you have seen, King Bowser is more powerful than ever. You can deal with this time. Or than even you, my bad. That's an end. Here's a gift from him. A gift? <laughs> Mario, you will kneel and weep when you see the wonderful changes King Bowser's made. Your world is ours now. <laughs> it coughs up some phlegm there at the end. Um, I just fixed that gate. Nobody say gate to me. 
Kami Koopa, that fiend! Did you hear what she said about the princess? It didn't sound good. I hope nothing's happened to her. Wha- what? What? Fowler wouldn't kidnap Princess Peach? Again? Oh, unbelievable! And now you have to go to Shooting Star Summit to help save her, right? Um... This could be a problem. Yeah, we just gotta go do something, right? Mario's gotta save the princess, nobody else can do it. Um... Oh, here's an idea. Maybe we can break this block with Goomba's big hammer. Okay, cool. Thank you, Sol. I really appreciate that. Thanks for checking that out. I think he's using it now to fix the veranda. Go ask him for it, will you? Yeah, we had this weird thing uh, the other night on Friday where... When we reached like the five hour mark, for some reason, it just stopped streaming to Twitch and YouTube. I don't know. It was like really close to the end of the stream anyways. Like I think we had like one or two more races at the end of the night and then I stopped streaming. But it was just weird. It was like right around the five hour mark. Boop. Just stopped for no reason. <laughs> so it's definitely good to check on this. I need to definitely try to keep it up on one of my monitors. As a way of just, under, you know, knowing. Because I think it probably would have worked if I just would hit start again, because Aircast didn't think it was still streaming to it or anything. So maybe it just has like a time limit or something, or I don't know. Oh, whoa. Um, the brand is gone. Mario! <laughs> but he's paper. Yeah, well, I mean, the time limit, f what I was talking about was referring to Aircast. Not, uh, the time limit for Twitch is 48 hours. There is a time limit. And it's 48 hours. I watched some streamers who had to, like, turn the stream off and back on, like, right at the, before the 48-hour uh, mark. Because <laughs> that's what their partner, I guess, person had told them. That's what they were saying. But yeah, I meant more like Aircast. Because Aircast, because I was still streaming on Glimish. It was just, um, Aircast stopped pushing it to YouTube and Twitch. That was it. That's what I meant to say. Sorry if that was confusing. Oh, my bag. <laughs> Who's that? That's you, Mario. I remember a great crashing noise, and then the veranda collapsed, and I fell. Did you fall, too? Just stepped out the door into the air, did you? Well, we're both okay. Problem is, we can't get the home because that block is in the way. Yeah, just some weird thing. Yeah, some. I mean, Aircast is still sort of like a new product, right? So I'm not like, you know trying to harp on or anything. I just thought that was interesting that it was like right around the five hour mark. It might even have been like the five hour mark. I didn't actually pay that much attention. I was just like, oh, weird. You know, I did that. Bud, the Pokemon master. Oh, okay. What's up, Zach? You changed the name a little bit? Just call me Bud, though. All right. What's up, Bud? Can do. How you doing, Bud? It's been a while since I've seen you. This block, this block shouldn't be here. Well, this is a problem for us. Huh, um, a hammer? Oh, of course. Um, where did it go? I was using it to fix the veranda, so it's likely around here somewhere. Hmm, <laughs> nowhere to be seen. Guess it must have fallen somewhere over there. Mario, we'd better look for it. Yeah, there you go. Thanks, Stella, for being so welcoming. Always appreciate that. I wonder if I'll ever be able to get, like, a combined chat where if you guys say something in one chat, it says it, and the other one automatically copy-pastes it. That'd be kind of cool, just so they can get better interaction, you know what I'm saying? Here's the new Paper Mario on the Switch is good. Oh, yeah, yeah, we might end up uh, working our way up to it. Who knows? You're going for more of, like, a retro vibe for this playthrough, but, yeah, I think it was at the Origami King. Is that what it was called? I think it was the new one. But, yeah, definitely might be in the mood for it after we finish up uh, this one. All right, Grandpa, let's go. Or Goompa. The hammer got to be somewhere close by. It looks just like this. Look for bushes that might cover it up. If exclamation point appears over your head, you can press A to search. 
Bling. Right on you. Yeah, I was looking to see if they had this in Virtual Console, but apparently they don't have N64 in Virtual Console or something, or I didn't find it. So I just had to go on PC. Yo, Splurgus, what's up, my dude? Good to see you, man. Where's that damn hammer? Oh. The hammer! You found the hammer! Mario can do the hammer attack now. He can smash a yellow block with his hammer. Oh, there we go! That's it! That's the hammer! As a British would say, I am bollocks. <laughs> oh, gosh. Knackered. Yeah, I've heard both of those for sure. <laughs> I actually use, like, a UK woman's voice to read the Twitch chat, and I think it's funny that she, like, read those perfectly. I'll wager that if you use that hammer, you can break the block that's in your way. Oh, that's my good dude. I mean, it's, you know, kind of, you know, Monday, so, you know, good as Monday can get, though, I'd right, say. Not, uh, doing too bad. I got a short week this week. I took Thursday and Friday off, because Friday's my birthday, so... I can make it another couple days. How about you, dude? Hopefully it's going swell. Hey, what's up, Bone? Bone's here over on Glimsh, everybody. How you doing, buddy? Thanks for stopping by. Hopefully you're having a good one. How was your stream earlier, Bone? You can always use the hammer to hit trees and make them sway. Sometimes stuff will fall out. You can use it by pressing B. Two errands that you wanted to run, but you couldn't. Oh, gotcha. Mm, sounds pretty good. Sounds like a pretty good Monday, right? Can I just smash the bushes? No, I gotta search them. Yeah, you get that shiny hoe, dude. Oh, you did! You just said you got that shiny hoe and stream today. <laughs> oh, man! Dude, let's do a cheer for that, dude. Hooray for Bolin's shiny ho oh, oh dude. Man, your stream must have blew up. God, I wish I would have been there. That would have been great. That's awesome. What an exciting thing to have happen, dude. Oh, what do we got here? You got the dolly. An adorable doll that looks exactly like Princess Peach. Oh, well now, I believe that's the dolly that Goombaria said she lost. She'll no doubt be overjoyed if you give it back to her. So many people lose things all over the place, you know. It almost makes me makes one feel like looking around everywhere. Oh yeah, definitely catch the off of the reaction. Yeah, does anybody clip that too? That'd be a, such a great thing to clip, dude. Clip that and put it on the like uh, Pokemon subreddit, dude. Get some clicks, bro. Oh dang, Pokey, you missed it. <laughs> oh yeah, it's in the chat for Pokey. You got follow bot it? Oh no. Oh, that sucks, dude. Why would somebody do that? That's such a weird thing. I've heard of someone else having that done, and I like why? That's so weird. Was it just somebody who was trying to do something nice, but they didn't know they were doing something shitty? Like I, I don't understand it, dude. <laughs> I think someone clipped it. Okay, cool. Post it in the Discord somewhere. I'm definitely gonna check that out, dude. That's awesome. Well, we found the hammer, so I guess we should head for home. Yout! What happened, little dude? Have to get into another battle, I bet. Oh, look at this guy. Who are you guys? This is my playground, idiots. Nobody sets foot here without my permission. Nobody! Prepare to start crying at the feet of Master Junior Trooper. Oh, man. There we go. Mario, this is Junior Trooper. He's the boss of the neighborhood gang. A bit of a pulley, obviously. He's more bark than bite. You can beat him easily. <laughs> Just boost yourself up and don't take any clip. I'll stay right here behind you and watch your progress. All right, dude. You gonna give me any lip, little dude? If you ever need a tool for removing follow bot stuff, let me know. Okay, you got it, dude. If I ever get follow bot it. 
horrible and ironic because earlier in the stream you were talking about it, it being almost a year since you last follow bot attack, but yeah, that sucks. Oh, really? That's crazy. I can't believe you've been followed by more than once, dude. What is with that? What is the motive, dude? Does anybody know? I'm just so curious. Any even speculation would be nice because I have no idea why someone would do that. Like, I just, do I not understand something? <laughs> it's so weird. I'm so sorry that happened to you, dude. Come on. Oh, excellent. Good move. Go on. Yeah. They're trying to get attention or something, just like people who try to spoil games. Yeah, I guess so, right? I guess it's just another form of, like, trolling, I guess. I guess I don't know how they do it. I guess I, the only thing I had ever heard of is people buying follows in the past. Like, back in the day, that used to be, like, a thing people would do. And so I thought, like, maybe are they paying money to some follow bot service? Or do they have, like, a follow bot? Like, a bunch of accounts and they can just... I don't know. I don't understand <laughs> so weird so if i wanted to make a chrome extensions would i be working with javascript um probably javascript i would or html5 if it can handle it but i don't know enough about html5 i just know that there's a lot of stuff you can do with it but yeah it'd probably be an H or a javascript i bet a lot of the programming parts would be at least html5 is probably still largely markup so i bet it relies on javascript Oh, I'm joining. I'm joining it a lot so far. The voice acting has been a lot of fun, um, so I hope you guys are enjoying that. But uh, yeah, I haven't played it since the, the first time I played it when I was a kid. We owned it on N64. <laughs> I think I mostly watched my brother play it. Though. I think it was one of those ones where, like, since I couldn't read very well growing up, my brother would like read everything for me, uh, and so I probably just watched him play it. So it's probably my first time actually sitting down and playing it myself. Oh, yeah, have you played the new one on Switch, Dan? Yeah, I think um, someone was just telling me about that earlier. Was that Bud? I think Bud was talking about it. Yeah, the Origami King one. Yeah, who knows? We might end up working our way up there. Because I think I've only ever played the first two or three Paper Marios. And then they, they made a bunch more since then, I'm pretty sure. So, definitely could be cool to catch up on that. Hey, what's up, Shyla? Long time no see. And we got so many people hanging out with us. Thanks for hanging out, everybody. That's awesome, dude. It's seriously great. Like, wow. I can't believe so many people are hanging out tonight. This is awesome. I guess Mario Monday is a popular thing. Is that what it is? Twitch is an idiot. I've been trying to log in forever. Oh, really? Well, hopefully, uh, Glimish is well. I think we've fixed some stuff, Shiloh, with the stream since the last time you've been on here. So I think Glimish should be... Like, everything should be better. There should be less flickering... Less stream weirdness. I mean, they're still going to have some stuff every once in a while, you know, from the edge server. But there shouldn't be any, like, weird stuff or whatever, I think. So far, we've been really, really stable. But yeah, I totally agree with you. Twitch is an idiot. It's just straight up. I have been on, like, two weeks. Oh, well, we're so glad to have you back. You know, I just figured you were busy, you know. It's all good. All right, let's get back into this, huh? I'm just getting warmed up. I like this little dude so far. Is this going to teach me how to do the crits or whatever? I think I can like tap at the right time. Let me get some of that. Mario, you've almost got him. Keep it up. Go on. All right, you asked for it. Say hello to Junior Troopa's special attack. Full power! <laughs> Two damage. I am in danger. I bet we'll get him this time. Guardian. Mario, that was wonderful fighting. You got star points. You get star points every time you beat an enemy. Every time you save up 100 star points, you'll go up a level. Always try hard to get star points. 20 star points. Shoot! I was winning too! I'll be back, Mario. I believe it. I mean it, I'll be back! <laughs> Alright. 
Plop. Oh, is that more life for me? Oh. Is that not what that is? Get out of my way, Goompa. There we go. Oh, okay, heals me up, by the way. If you hit this block, your HP heart points will fully recover. Heart points, health points, you know, whatever. It's all the same. So what was this way? Should I go check out what's this way? It's a Mario, I see. Bad Goombas ahead. They're loyal to Bowser. If they see you, they'll attack you without hesitation. If you can successfully attack an enemy in the field with a jump or hammer, you'll get the first strike when you enter the battle. Striking first really helps when it comes to battling. Alright, Goompa. Goompa knows a lot about battling. I think he's been around the bush a couple times. Oh, dang it. <laughs> I did not get the, <laughs> the first strike on that one. There we go. Plop. You think a jump will do more damage to a Goomba? No, see him out. That's all right. Oh, he's got a spike on his head. Watch out for that one. I want to get this crystal thing up here. Oh, dang, got me. I was dodging him. I like the music. The thing about these, like, um, turn-based combat games is the beginning is always kind of, like, boring because it's always, like, one attack to start with, you know what I mean? At all? Man. What do we got here? A star piece. Doesn't it look like something from Pokemon, like a revive or something? Isn't there something an item of Pokemon that looks like that? <laughs> it's a glowing star piece. Wait and see what this is for. Alright, hopping down. Ooh, look, fire flower. A flower that burns all enemies with fireballs. Attack power three. You got an item. So use items in the game to attack enemies to uh, to recover HP and to do a few other things. Press right on the C to see, or left on the C to see what items Mario has now. What was my, I think C was my stick. There we go. Okay. Oh, so this wasn't where I was supposed to go. I thought this was like the right way for some reason. Well, I'm glad I went back for it. I guess I'm just supposed to continue through here. First strike! Nice, that'll make this real fast. <laughs> Done for. First strike! So I cannot jump on him. This is a spike, Goomba. See that spike on his head? Be careful not to jump on him. You'll definitely get hurt. Hammer time. Mario's like, not up in here. Oh, I'm so sorry, Splurge. I guess I missed your message from earlier. Uh, Thinking about having an out, I'll allow you to press a comfort, a configurable key command to place sort of a beacon on where a question in notes would begin. The answer would be and upload the entire thing to get your some flashcard utility in mass. Oh, so then, like, are you saying that you'd have a bunch of people using this extension to be able to get like a database of these question answer connections? Is that am I reading that right, Splurgus? Yeah, I got the first strike. Nice. Oh, it's too crap. I mean, business. Listen up, Mario. The enemy f flying your hammer won't reach enemies in the air. To attack airborne enemies, use a jump attack. You can jump over the one enemy and attack one behind it, too. This is good advice, remember it. Okay, Goompa. Goompa's like, all my advice is good advice, so... Don't be a rube. This would export notes into a flashcard app. That'd be pretty cool. Yeah, and then you can keep it with you. Is that kind of what you mean to It'll be really handy. 
I wonder if there is anything out there that's like that. Have you searched around the extensions? Yeah, I guess that's probably the bigger thing, right? Making the cards faster, yeah. Like keeping it with you is probably more just like a side bonus. Never worry, kids. Here I am. Thanks to young Mario here. I made it back all right. Turn-based fighting was so different from Mario games. They had the kind of like a unique thing, right? With the jump and uh, hammer. They kind of like try to keep a little bit of like the basic Mario in there. With the whole jump thing and adding mechanics to that. Oh, is that thing locked? Let me open it up for you. Go to his read, write notes, make cards, study cards. If we can get the third step out. Yeah, dude, I like how you're thinking. You're trying to, like, find better ways of doing uh, the things you do, you know? It's good. And it can be a cool thing to uh, create, you know, potential product out of, man. Which are, a lot of people would probably like that. Yeah, automate it and make it better. Yeah. Making it better by automating, right? <laughs> Goompa! Where have you been? I looked outside and, wow, both of you and Veranda were just plain gone. Goompa, I was very, very worried about you. Really worried. Sorry, kids. I apologize. I didn't mean to make you fret. You just take it easy now. I'm back safe and sound. Now, before I forget, I decided to give you something, Mario. Wait here a minute. All right, Goompa, what do we got? Huh? Hey, that dolly you got, that's the one Goombario lost. She was looking all over for it. Would you give it back to her? Well, of course I would. Why would I say no? It's my dolly! Dolly, dolly, you're back! Thank you so much! I'm so happy, my sweet dolly! Don't you ever get lost again! There's a present from me! Look at the pretty glitter! Ooh, a star piece, nice. And take this, too! Ooh, a little smooch. How sweet. You always seem to beat up your enemies. Do you work out? I study my self-defense by reading books by the master and listening to Dad and Goompa. And I also exercise every day so I can be strong like you. It's starting to show. I'm getting big muscles. Yeah, Goombario's head is hard as a rock now. Tee hee. When he does his head bonk move, it really, really hurts. Oh, be quiet, Kumbaria. You're embarrassing me. Of course, it is true. No, oh, that's hilarious. That's <laughs> a little harsh, bud. Sorry to have kept you waiting, Mario. It's okay, Goompa. You're just... We were just rapping with Mario. Just doing some rapping with kids. Oh, rapping, huh? Sorry. I wanted to give you this, Mario. Got the power jump badge. Nice. Mario stomps on a single enemy using a lot of attack power. This is called a badge. If you wear this, you'll be able to do a power jump, which means you'll be able to do a lot more damage with your jump attack. But listen here and listen well. You'll only be able to do it if you're wearing the badge. You'd better try it first. Putting badges on and taking them off is a vital skill. If you'd like a quick lesson on how to use the badge you collect during your travels, I guess. Let's go for it. Press start and the menu will open. Gotcha. You got to take out badges. Here's how you put and take out badges. A. Put badges. Takes badge points, okay. This one takes one BP. How many do I have? Three. Badge is now on. Press the A button again to take it off. Okay, so this is like a toggle thing. Yeah, I understand. 
<laughs> I did not need that. Now remember, you need F power flower points to use this power jump technique. Do you remember that we saw a block like this on our way back to the village? Well, these blocks restore not only HP, but also FP. They're lifesavers, Mario. Use them whenever your HP and FP reserves are getting low. By the by, Mario, I heard from Goomba. You're taking it upon yourself to try to rescue the princess from Bowser's clutches. Aw, oh, yeah, Mario can beat Bowser with one hand tied behind his back. Hush now, Goombario. Mario, please take this hammer. It should serve you well, and if I were just a bit younger, I'd accompany you in your trip. I'd have done some damage. The years have started to weigh on me, though. I tell you this lower back pain. Probably from all those bonking people with your head, huh? Hurts the spine. Adventure? You're so lucky! Princess Rescue is so cool. I really want to be an adventurer too someday. Me too! Oh, here's an idea. Mario. Perhaps the timing is perfect. You are no longer a child and evil times are upon us. I'm sure Mario will agree. You should accompany Mario. What? Really? May I go, Goompa? May I really go? Yes! Oh, yeah! Mario, you won't regret this! Like Mario hasn't said anything, so, oh, okay. <laughs> I guess this is happening now. First time to have him tell you about people, places, or things nearby. When you're interested, just ask him. Oh, thanks, Blurgus. Yeah, I like to uh, try to do voice acting and stuff as much as I can. You know, try to make it fun, because just, like, reading it's boring, or not reading it at all, it's, like, even more harder, like, care about what's happening, right? <laughs> I think so. Uh, we are interested, just ask him. Okay. Gumbari was also helpful during battles. He can attack with head bonk, or you can tell him about an enemy's features and HP using his tattle ability. Interesting. Okay, he's like a scan. Way to go, Gumbario! Mario. I know Gumbario will prove to be a worthy champion, our companion. Well, I think it's about time for my nap. I'll be in the house. Goodbyes have a way of making this old Goomba very weepy. So I'm just gonna leave. I can't handle leaving with my emotions. This is so cool, Mario, let's go! But wait, your HP looks a little low. Maybe you ought to take a rest in the Toad House. All right. Toad, I'm using your bed, bud. Hope you don't mind. Nope, I gotta talk to him. The Toad House slogan is, refresh your body and mind. Anytime you feel tired and a good rest will fix you right up. Would you like to take a nap? Take a nap. Make yourself comfortable and enjoy your stay. Oh, whoa, he jumped inside of me. Did you sleep well? Take care now. Alrighty. Go ahead and save. We made some progress. Don't want to lose anything. Well, there we go. Hello. Dad, did you hear? I'm going to adventuring with Mario. Grandpa, that's not a good. I'll make you proud, Dad. I swear it. Just wait. Do your best, son. You've grown into a strong boy, and I know you'll do be a great help. It's a good thing you've spent so much time training, huh? Now you're old Goompapa proud. There we go, problem solved. I have a feeling your road will be lined with difficulty, so try not to overdo it. Be watchful, yet stay cool. A calm mind is the wisest. Oh, hang on now, Mario. I noticed you aren't wearing the badge Goompa gave you. You know that badge won't do anything if you don't wear it. I think it's hilarious. I think you'd be better to put on that thing before you go. Alright, thank you for reminding me. <laughs> yeah, I don't know why I think that's so funny. Alright, there we go. Everybody happy? <laughs> I love this game too, Shadow. 
Honestly, like I don't even remember the like story that much, so I, I gotta say the writing has been pretty pretty good so far. I like it. <laughs> Keep your whistle wet. Beware of Goombas. Oh, he popped right out of the screen! <laughs> you got a big dog, Splurgus? Hey, Mario! During a battle, you can change the order we attack in with Z. I can attack first if you want. I don't mind at all. Just keep in mind, okay? Oh, okay, Pyrenees. Yeah, there you go. That's a big dog right there. Two flower power. I don't need these flower power. And this chump. Yeah, definitely post that in uh, the Discord, dude. We would all like to see cute pup. Hammer down this guy. Whoop. Abilities, you got head bonk and towel. We got head bonk him. Goomba and Goomba action. Swing fast enough. Cute dog and cat picks are always welcome. Absolutely, Stella. Absolutely. Alright, let's see. Maybe I should use a flower power this time. Oh, well, that's not what I wanted to do. I wanted to use some flower points by doing power jump. There we go, save on a little damage, you know. And he'll get a head bonk. Let's do a regular old jump. Oh man, maybe I should have cropped the screen more and stretched it out. I didn't realize it was gonna like letter bar it like that. It's like the screen's even smaller. Is it always like that or does it go big during certain things? Like when I go to start menu. No, it's still pretty small. Let me try to make that bigger. Sorry, hold up guys. One sec. Try to... Crop more of it so I can stretch it out more, you know what I mean? There we go, right side. We don't need all these black boxes, right? Sorry, this thing is super slow. And in the bottom. And then I'll stretch it out. I mean, it looks like it's like at least in a little bit of a widescreen format. And I'll have this saved for next Monday, so I'll be able to do this right away. Next time. There we go. Okay, I think I got a crop just fine. Now I just want to make it bigger. Centered a little bit. There we go. That looks better, doesn't it? Get more of the game going on. No, I need to do a little bit more. Sorry, one sec. Need to crop just a couple more pixels off the top and the left. There we go. I think that will work for now. There we go. I think that looks better. All right, let me catch up with some chat here. Oh, yeah, I need to look at Asperger's dog. You posted. Okay, let's check it out. <laughs> yeah, just snoozing away on the bed. 
Got a pure white one, huh? Nice. I had a friend who had a dog just like that at Pyrenees. Oh, look at that little fluffy, little fluffy guy. Looks better, Dom, and not pixelated. Okay, cool. I'm glad that looks better for you. Thank you for that feedback. You got a cute little dog there, Stella. Little cute pup. Bam. And I got that crop saved as a filter, so I'll be able to turn it on and off the next week. I have to do as much work. <laughs> that, like, flashing thing at the top just feels so authentic for some reason, even though it probably wouldn't have happened in the real version of it. Let's see, you don't want to use too many flower points, right? I've already gained one back somehow. Oh, because that thing that I picked up, that's right. Let's jump on him. Paragoomba. And then he can finish him off. Head bonk him, little dude. First try, yes. Clump. <laughs> yeah, I might need to blow into the cartridge. There you go. An old school thing to do. Star points. We got here. Oh. We got a close call badge. When Mario is in danger, enemies sometimes fail to attack. Okay, sounds good. I like that. Badges. Close call. There we go. Oh, yeah, these things have the thing fall off, right? Eat a mushroom and regain your energy. When HP gets low, eat a mushroom with left. Okay, cool. Restores 5 HP. Okay, cool. I was actually thinking my HP was getting kind of low. Nice first strike! Ooh, there's three guys here. Okay, okay. So what I'll do is do a power jump on the middle guy. Take him out completely. That's one less guy doing damage. Mario will take him on. A little bonk. Yeah, that's right. First break. I'm looking a little low. We could probably use a mushroom, but we don't need it yet. It'd be funny if I could throw Goombar. Like, yeah. Oh, sweet. I'm glad I didn't use the mushroom, because we got that right there. Uploading pics to Discord is strange. Why is that? Nope, oh, crap. For some reason, sometimes my stick just wants to go left. It's just like a classic N64 controller. Maybe they built that into the emulator. In gallery, it bypasses MB restrictions, but if I copy and paste, it doesn't allow it. Oh, yeah, that's interesting. When you go from gallery, it doesn't care about the megabytes? That's interesting. Yeah, because it's only like eight maximum, right? Yeah, maybe it downscales it. Yeah, maybe. I'm not sure. That's interesting, though. That's handy that it does that, if it does. Cause yeah, I've had to make my uh, GIFs and stuff smaller. Because sometimes with my like advertising pictures that I do for my streams, sometimes I like to make them GIFs. I haven't done it in a while. but And I remember back then having to make the GIF look like shit because I had to make it so small just to put it on Discord. But then I always use them as like the starting screen, screen so at least somebody might see it. <laughs> Alright, let's see. Hey, hey, hold it right there. You, yeah, you, surprise. Suspicious guy. Don't move. Ah, you're Mario. I knew it. You can't go past here, Mr. Big Shot. It's a direct order from Goomba King. That's right. I'm sorry, but the only way 
by is through the Goombro, uh, the Goomba Bros. That's me, Red Goomba, and my brother, Blue Goomba. Let's get him, Blue Goomba. Oh yeah, let's do it, my red brother. Okay, this looks like a boss fight. It's time for a fire flower. Do your magic. <laughs> oh yeah, thanks. Yeah, the satisfactory ones have been uh, pretty awesome. I, I like doing them in satisfactory. I guess I just... It makes more sense to me, like, there's more things that I can think of to use Satisfactory for. And we play so much of it. It's always a good investment, I think. But thank you. Yeah, I love making those. Mario, how do you like some of this? Oh, damn, they're getting me. Chrome add are HTML, CSS, and Java. Oh, interesting. Not any JavaScript? That's interesting. This and HTML are kind of boring, did it already? Yeah, the markup languages, they're just nice to know to make like UIs, right? I always think it's nice to know CSS and HTML so that you can use JavaScript in, you know, more advanced ways with user interfaces and stuff, you know? But yeah, go for Java, man. All right, let's see here. I don't know how much health they have now. Let's just go for a bonk, I guess. We're doing quite a bit of damage to him. Have him do a little tattle. Blue Goomba. This is Blue Goomba. He's the younger of the two notorious Goomba bros. Max HP, 6. Attack power, 1. Defense power, 0. So he's almost dead then, I think. As you heard in his little speech, he's one of the Goomba King's men. He doesn't look that healthy. He's weaker than his brother. You're expected to memorize the stuff by doing essentially, by doing essentially right. Memorize, like memorize how to do it. Is that what you mean? I don't think that you're memorizing much. It's more like a way of thinking. Like you know how to f find the answer and stuff. Because like reading documentation for code is sort of like a skill. It's probably the best skill to learn, because code changes so much you can't memorize anything because it's gonna change. So. Yeah, I mean, the commands change and stuff so often, you're going to use be using new commands all the time, too, because, like I said, it's always a, oh, an ever-changing thing. So it's actually better to be able to adapt and to be able to pick up on things quickly than it is to memorize anything, I think. I could be wrong, but that's how I've always seen it. Yeah, you need to wrap your hand around the logic and the algorithms. Yeah, mm -hmm. the things that are consistent, you can you can remember and stuff. And a lot of, like, syntax can be very similar. Um, so that can help. Googling, mostly. Uh, uh, when you have an object-oriented language, sometimes this, it, it's just the structure of it that's going to help because you're like, I know if I need to do anything like this, I just use the object that's associated with working with that. And that's one thing that makes object-oriented programming nice. But um, a lot of it is going to be looking at the docs online. And yeah, Stack Overflow. And yeah, look up pseudocode. Mm -hmm. Yeah, a lot of it, yeah, it's just learning how to read the documentation and figure out... Because the documentation is going to be like the most easy scenario most of the time so it's like you need to be able to look at that kind of help and actually pull stuff from it i think that's the way i would i would look at it oh i didn't see the note that you'd sit over here on a uh, blemish that um java is a solid language it will help in many areas mobile dev is mostly java too okay i actually didn't know most mobile dev was mostly java i think javascript works on mobile still too right because i always hear people say javascript and mobile as well so all right, back to this here. Blue, blue Goomba? God, my little brother. You'll pay for that, Mario. Ed Bonkum, little dude. It's all right, I got this. Plop. Probably got one more HP. I'll go ahead and use some flower power They're full so we can get a little extra damage here. There we go. Now he's definitely dead. 
<laughs> right on still. Yeah, hopefully that stuff doesn't like feel too like tangential or whatever and, and annoying to you guys because I, mean, I really like talking about coding and stuff and if anybody ever wants to talk about it, I'm usually down. It's pretty cool stuff, you know? Just if you can wrap your head around this, uh, how to pseudo write something, everything else is just language specific. Right, yeah, that's a, definitely a great little piece of advice. Yeah, because it's like uh, knowing just like the flow progr uh, programmatically would be like the pseudo of it. And then you'd be like, okay, well, the syntax here is that a for loop is like that. And, um, you know, a whatever this kind of thing is like that in this language or whatever. It helps you know what to look up to because it's like when you go to like have a problem, you're like, oh, I know I need something like this. So let me look up how this language does that. And then you can figure it out. And usually things just tend to get easier, I think. Like, the more we get further along, you know, we're making tools to make things easier. So hopefully you'll actually just need to kind of know less as you go forward. Yeah! I, I'll let you go for now. Made these guys cry. Jeez, Mario. Be a little nicer, bro. Ah, oh, save point. Do we learn from each other? Too? Yeah, absolutely. Eat mushroom, Mary. Gain your energy. Yeah, give it to Mary. Oh no, it was a Goomba instead. Haha, <laughs> first strength. No crap, I need to heal. Um, ooh, here's what we can do. I won't take any damage if I do this. Nice. Ooh, we got a couple flower power points. We got some health. Sweet, I'm a six. Might be able to wait a little bit longer. Ever need to geek out over flashlights, knives, van life, or emergency preparedness? <laughs> yeah, right on, sounds good. All those things are pretty interesting, you know. Definitely like, I think out of each of those things, I'm sure I watched a YouTube video on all of those subjects. So I'm sure I'd find that kind of thing interesting. Goomba King's Fortress ahead, all right. I didn't know about this Goomba King. I thought we were just going to the whole Toad Village or whatever. What happened to that? He was building all these castles in this Mushroom Kingdom. None of these guys have arms. King Goomba, help us! Mario beat us up! <laughs> so we're like running them down at this point. That's sort of similar, right? Yeah, I think it's some crossover. I think there's some van life in there, flashlights involved, knives, and emergency preparedness. You gotta be prepared when you camp it. Hey, look, Mario. See that building over there? I'm pretty sure that used to be the bridge on the other side. I wonder what happened to it. What's happening? Oh, look, he's crazy. The king's a little drunk. So, Mario, it's true. You've made it this far. I respect you for that. Unfortunately, this is as far as you'll ever get. Because I, the great and powerful King Goomba, will see to that you advance no further. You hear that, Mario? No farther. Wahaha, <laughs> yeah, you're so scared. All right. You want to say you're sorry? Wow, that King Goomba is uh, really huge. I'm sure he's no match for you, though, Mario. Let's get him. Ready to meet my wrath, Mario. You'd better be. Best voice guy out of all this. <laughs> I have played D&D slurs. I haven't that much, but I have. Sometimes I've DM'd once or twice. I really appreciate that. <laughs> I do put a lot into the voices for sure. Beat him up, King Goomba. I've got your back. Leave him to me. Hey, Mario. I think maybe we ought to take out the Goomba Bros first, don't you think? 
They must be pretty weak since you just finished beating them up back there. Oh, yeah. If we actually make D&D a thing on PC, I'm going to be healed. <laughs> right on. Sounds good. See, I feel like Glimish would make it possible to have possibly have you guys control characters if you wanted to or something. I don't know exactly how I'd want to do that, but I've always thought it'd be cool if, if like the chat as a group had a character. If we ever did D&D, &D, but I don't I don't know. It definitely there's something you check on. <laughs> Could be a bar too. Yeah, there you go. It's book called the uh, Vicious Mockery. Literally make fun of someone with a song so much they're disabled for a turn in game. Oh, that's awesome. I haven't heard of that one. That was awesome. The last time we tried to play, we got to do one session last time, and I was a bard. I think last time, I think I was a bard. Yeah. And I was like high charisma and stuff too, so instead of even fighting this group of like lizard guys, I just convinced them that they didn't want to do what they were doing. That's pretty awesome. <laughs> yeah, great chat. It's just a crazy drunkard in town. Yeah, maybe you could be like NPC or something. That could be funny. I just would like the chat to be involved in some way, you know? I think that'd be cool. All I got is this mushroom, and I'll wait until I take some damage to use that. Uh, yeah, exactly. That's what I was going for. I was like, I'm just going to try to talk my way out of as much stuff as I can. Uh, okay, these guys both have two. So really doing the jump thing on him is going to be a waste. I think you can just both attack one of them. Or I guess it's just the blue guy that's two. Oh, maybe once he tattles on him, it's just like I always get info on him. <laughs> Hell yeah, little dude. There we go, one down. One less damage source. Oh damn, that's a lot of damage. Alright, definitely using that. Mushroom. The story I read was of a half-orc bar that dumped all of his skills into Intimidate. <laughs> yeah, so he's a very intimidating bar. He just sings shitty songs and get mad if he didn't like it or something. That'd be pretty funny. Um, should I tattle on the red guy? I should probably just attack the red guy, because it's probably so close it's not really worth tattling, right? Man, I gotta kill these guys fast. It's hammer. No, I gotta jump on. Oh, the Goomba Nut Tree. Then I can hit the king with it, right? But I gotta get the little red dudes first, right? You intimidate people into green that he's being so oh, I love that. That's hilarious. I watch D&D streams. What I find challenging is that if I don't start from the beginning, I'm lost. Yeah, right? It bring people up to speed would be difficult. And so I feel like a big help would be to maybe try to make each session a new thing. You know what I mean? Like almost like an anthological thing. Like make sure that by the end of the, the play session this time, we've reached a conclusion of some sort so that next time people can pick up and there's a new story or something like that. You know what I mean? Yeah, to get into Critical Role. Yeah, I've tried watching a few of those too. Yeah, and it's really hard to get into it. Yeah, if you're not there at the beginning and you don't want to go back and watch the whole like log or whatever, then it's like it's hard to get into it. It's hard to just casually watch it too. I guess that's a big part of what we're saying, right? I'm going to go ahead and tattle him first. Yeah. It's the Goomba King. He's really big. I mean, look at him. He looks really powerful. Max HP 10, attack power 1, defense power 0. He just has a lot of HP. He's the boss of the red Goomba and the blue Goomba. Who cares if he's strong? <clears throat> We're much stronger. Gee, I wonder what he's... When he ate to become so big. I'd like to be a bit bigger too. <laughs> Poor little guy, he's growing. Yeah, I don't know who's what, I don't know why they're doing whatever they're doing, who's who. Yeah, absolutely, dude, yeah. You know. Best way to make it understandable. Mm -hmm. Maybe some overlays of the characters and a recap command in chat. Yeah, yeah, I like that. Possibly one that could be live edited by a mod. Absolutely, yeah. I think that's a really good idea. For characters is a must. That's a common one. Yeah, I would definitely try to like try to produce the shit out of it, probably. To try to like make everything as clear as possible or whatever. All right, we're in danger. Let's do a regular jump on the tree. Or should I make the little guy do that and I just attack him? I'll just do a power jump on his ass. And then little dude 
go bonk this, and hopefully he'll do more than one damage that way. Yeah, there we go. Got four HP left, and he's got, there's no more nuts in the Goomba tree, so I guess we just gotta take him out the normal way. Should I try hitting the tree again? That's alright, I'll be alive for another another life. I'll just be get, getting pretty, pretty close. I think I'll be alright. I think your voices are one of my favorite parts of this channel. <laughs> oh, thank you, Shyla. I really appreciate you saying that. I feel like we don't get to have them enough, you know, to be able to do that stuff enough. So I'd like to get more and more practice. So I'm glad uh, that this game has that, because I didn't even think about that. Like, when Stella first, like, suggested this game, I didn't even think about the fact that it would be um, all, like, text or whatever. So this is kind of just, like, a pleasant surprise there. Shame the D&D &D campaign ended. Oh, the one that I was in? Is that what you mean? Just went to play basically. Oh, the one that you were talking that you were talking about the other day, Splurgus. It was also a weapon smuggler. Nice. Okay, right on. Uh, probably HP up, because I, mean, I can use more HP for show. What? 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 How could I lose? Yeah, I knew we could do it. Cool, victory. We're coming in there. Oh. I think we're getting a graphical error here. <laughs> okay, I can hit A and I'm hearing things happening, but I don't know what's happening. People are talking. Oh, there we go, okay. Okay, he says, Red Goomba, you're positive that you hid the switch well, right? Of course, King Goomba. I hid it in the grass outside the fortress. Outside the... You idiot! You didn't hide it in here. Mario will find it for sure. No, do you think? You know, you might be right. King Goomba, maybe we ought to try to trick Mario before he tries to. Oh, man. <laughs> What's with that weird stuff? I might consider you a friend, and I kind of have a feel for games you may like. Right on. Well, I already knew I'd like this game. I think it's the... Maybe you're getting a feel for games I'd like to stream, right? Because, I mean, I, I already knew that. Let me hammer on this tree real quick. Oh, nice. There you go, dude. Recommendations mm -hmm. for free JavaScript resources? Um, free JavaScript resources. Just trying to think. I guess I had I never really done much t like learning with JavaScript as much as I just like, straight up read all the documentation for what I was doing with JavaScript. So I know JavaScript specifically with like um, Bedrock Edition Minecraft, because that's like what I use JavaScript for. <laughs> so I just went straight through, because I already had an understanding of C Sharp or whatever, and I think I was kind of using the, the trying to understand JavaScript through that lens or whatever. So I don't have any good resources, but I might be able to look some up for you, though. I'd love to see Final Fantasy IX voices would make it great. Oh, yeah. Well, maybe that's something we can consider for the future for sure. The hell are JavaScript resources? <laughs> yeah, there you go. Fluffy Akita Dog, what's up? How's it going, Fluffy? I don't think I've seen your name in here before. Thanks for hanging out, man. And yeah, that's I get what you mean there, Fluffy Akita Dog. Because there's just so many JavaScript libraries, right? So it's like resources. Best thing you're going to get is like documentation. But there's like some books and stuff you can buy out there, I know. You know, I'm sure there's some good YouTube videos that you could use to help you get started with JavaScript. But it's, it's almost like you're just trying to just get started coding and you're just starting with JavaScript, right? Uh, Mario, good fight and all that. I must warn you, however. If you happen to find a strange switch somewhere, you should definitely not press it. It's dangerous, understand? You, you what? You already pressed it? Oh, no! <laughs> what, is it like a self-destruct switch? Oh, come on. 
Damn emulator's not gonna let us see the destruction of this freaking thing. <laughs> we just have to imagine it. Ah, uh, yes, it's being destroyed. I think a bridge is popping up or something. Somebody just jumped on something. Oh, there we go. <laughs> that sucks. Yeah, well, you know, you're working with emulators. <laughs> That'll happen. Look, the bridge. Now we can cross it and continue our journey. All right. Come on, what's up with the the flickering, man? <laughs> There's like certain collision boxes that just cause all of the graphics to go away. <laughs> Yeah, hopefully that won't ever get us in a really bad spot, you know what I mean? <laughs> I'm really a little, I'm a little worried about that, actually. They don't have an N64 virtual console, do they? Because I couldn't find anything on the eStore, but maybe I wasn't looking at the right spot. Because I was going to try to get this on Switch first, because it definitely Donkey Kong worked a lot better on Switch. Save and continue, of course. Why was I even moving? If it isn't shut down, yeah. I don't have a Wii U, so I wouldn't be able to do that, but um, it's switch or nothing for me, but that, yeah, that's, that's fine. I don't know why they wouldn't, though. I guess that's just why it's like, especially if it was on the Wii U, then what, what are we doing? You know? <laughs> like, I know that there are N64 emulators on cell phones, too, and you know it's all Android stuff or whatever, because I believe it's built on the Android kernel, so it's like, yeah, they totally need it, man. <laughs> Would totally be helping me out right now. I There's no way I'd be able to get my N64 from my mom's house here and then be able to hook it up to my capture card. My capture card's not equipped for that. <laughs> I would much rather just pay for whatever I need to on my Switch to play it. <laughs> Mighty King Bowser, I've been looking for you. The report, your evilness. Mario defeated the Goomba King. He's heading for Toad Town now. What? Unbelievable. What was Goomba King thinking? I used the Star Rod to make him a king because he begged me. And Mario whips him so easily? What a wimp. Ugh. Kami Koopa, you are sure that Mario can never defeat us, right? Please, please, your vileness. Try to be calm. Goomba King is small time. I had a feeling he'd fail. It doesn't matter, because while you hold the Star Rod, you are definitely invincible. You could beat Mario with one claw tied behind your back. They've been using that phrase a lot. Yeah, yeah, come on, Nintendo. I can run this crap on a $30 Raspberry Pi, right? Yeah, at this point, it's like a shut up and take my money, Nintendo. Come on, dude. What's up with that? Yes, yes, very good. <laughs> By the way, Kami Koopa, those star spirits we captured don't have any way of giving Mario their power, do they? Please, don't worry yourself. Each is held separately. And each is carefully guarded by your hand-picked subjects. Even Mario can't save all seven of the star spirits. Hmm. Who's the closest star spirit to Mario? It's that one at Koopa Bros Fortress, right? If Mario somehow reaches there, can the Koopa Bros defeat him? King Bowser, you mustn't worry. Oh. Hiya! Oh, it's in Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Here come the Koopa Bros! Uh-huh, oh yeah, we're the coolest cool. Psst, Kami Koopa, are you sure these guys can get the job done? That Goomba King was gigantic, and even he couldn't beat Mario. Pshaw, get real, King Bowser. Yeah, the Goomba King was huge, but he was a total Wimpola. We're nothing like him. See, what we've got going on is the power of teamwork. Together, we can put the hurt on Mario in seconds flat. Excellent. That's the spirit. Tell it, Koopa Bros. Show your king that special attack you do so well. 
Not really cool. Pseudo code feels like a logic conveyor belt. Yeah, sure. I can see that analogy, I think. I guess what you mean. Yeah, it's definitely like a helpful thing when you don't want to like get into it. Because I think for me, like I use a lot of work to like, okay, so how am I going to do the next like 10 things? And that way I have this list that I can just start to check off. Like, okay, that, 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 that. And all of a sudden this whole like procedure stuff, you know? You just kind of break things down a little bit and it makes it feel like a lot more digestible than being like, oh, I got to get from here to there. Like, shit. You know? Yes, ma'am. Ready, everybody? Oh, my God. That. This is. Oh. <laughs> What's he doing? He, like, flashed him. How'd you like it, King Bowser? How <laughs> was it? Oh, yeah, excellent, really. I'm not easily impressed, either. <laughs> Mario won't have a chance if you finish him with that attack. And we'll take care of him, King Bowser. By the way, my Koopa Bros, about the captured star spirit I've looked up in your fortress. Who's guarding him right now? Uh, nope, nobody, sir. You know, we're, we're here, and... So, you idiots, use your heads, get back to the fortress, and guard that star spirit. Classic. <laughs> I was like, oh my god, what's going on? Hell yeah. <laughs> yeah, some weird stuff's going on over here. It's so funny that they just zoom in on Goomba's head, and it's like a bunch of like... Or, uh, bows his head, and there's just, like, a bunch of, like, lights and stuff, and he's like, oh, oh okay. <laughs> like, well, what the hell are they doing over there? Impressing Bowser quite a lot. It's like, look at the size of it. Oh, my God. What was that item? Items. Sleepy sheep. If it works, makes all enemies sleep for a little while. Okay. I'm down. Hiya! Oh, nice. Where does this take me? To a chest! Why is it doing that? Alright, sounds good, Splurgus. Good luck, dude. I hope that you find a really good resource, man. Something that really speaks to you and, you know, helps you figure it out. You got the hammer throw badge. Oh, cool. It's one enemy with a hammer, no matter where the enemy is. That could be handy. Might as well put on that badge. Mario, I see that you didn't put on that badge quite yet. Do you think you could do that for me? Oh, it takes two badge points? Well, I don't think I'm all good at that then. I don't need to be able to throw it that badly. Maybe I'll come up to some reason to need that, but... Mario! I'm so glad you're okay! The town is in an uproar and the prince is kidnapped. It's a very castle uprooted. Or the very castle uprooted. It's Bedlam. I really don't know what we can do about all this. Please, Mario, save her highness. Oh no! Doom! Danger! Princess Peach's castle has flown away up into the sky! No castle! Horrors! Only a hole remains! Our beloved castle, where is it? Spread the word! Outrage! The end is nigh! What do we got here? Oh! A Luigi! I wonder what my brother Mario is doing right now. Oh. Whoa! Leo! Good to see you. You're all right. After all that castle craziness, I was really worried about you. I ran outside just as the earthquake started, so I managed to escape in time. <laughs> Luigi just jumps on him right away like, Oh my god, there's a Goomba behind you! Oh, and who are you? I'm Goombario. Nice to meet ya. Nice see you. Great, just great. You're on an exciting adventure with Mario. Talk about unfair. <laughs> Luigi's like, what the hell? Why can't I go? See, someone has to look after this this house, so I can't leave. Oh, well. Take care of Mario, okay? Poor Luigi.
What can I do in here? Oh, cool. It's like a stat board. Okay, cool. Here's the box where letters addressed to Mario go. It's empty right now. You're at peak strength. You still want to go to bed? No, I'm good. We don't need any of that. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, you can sleep when you're dead. That's right. Get some shit out when I shit my ass for the final time. Oh, salutations. You are Mario, are you not? Of course, I know who you are. I am the wise toad. Rusty. Pleasure to meet you. As you can probably tell, I love books and read all the time because I'm so well read. I know all sorts of interesting facts. Whenever you visit with me, I'll be happy to share all of my knowledge with you. Alright, so are you going to share that knowledge, bro? Are you talking to me because you crave knowledge that only my intellect can provide? Then how about this? So it is told that far away at the very top of the sky, there exists a star heaven where stars make their home. In Star Heaven, there's a treasure called a Star Rod. According to the legend, it was made with ancient magic. There are said to be stars that are particularly strong and good-hearted. They are called Star Spirits. Using the magical Star Rod, these Star Spirits grant the wishes to everyone in this world. That's why, when we make a wish to the night sky and it comes true, it's all thanks to the Star Spirits and their Star Rod. If there's anything else you wish to know, please feel free to ask me. Alright. Little exposition reminder, I suppose. What do you guys got going on? The castle was taken away and Princess Peach was kidnapped. These are dark days. Everyone in town is suffering and yet my heart cares nothing but... Uh, my car heart cares for nothing but you, my sweet. Does that make me wicked? My heart is the same, my love. It cares for you, none other. We are both wicked toads. Oh, okay. Interesting conversation to be having. No, oh, when I walk into here, huh? You know, a couple little ones here. Oh, busy, busy. The room doesn't get tid tidied up when my darlings are at home. The earthquake when the castle flew away was terrifying. Everything was shaking, the ground, the houses, I fell right over. I was so horrified that I'd just like to forget it ever happened. My dad works at the castle, and he's not at home usually. But now the castle's gone, so he's at home. When I said I'm glad because dad's at home, I got scolded. What's up with that? Okay, so I need to get in the water and then get to that somehow, maybe? Alright. Keep that in mind. Check out this one. There's like a shop or something. It's got like an item sign there. Oh, yeah, there we go. Fright Jar makes a scary spirit appear and chase some enemies away. I know what that one does. Flip shell enemies and inflicts two damage points on all enemies. I mean, that could be really useful. A flower that burns all enemies. I need that. Sweet honey syrup restores 5 FP. Regular mushroom restores 5 HP. I think I'll need a mushroom. Need 5 coins for mushroom. Wanna buy it? Thank you very much. I think a pow block makes sense. Need 5 coins for a pow block. Thank you very much. Fire flower for when things get really hot. I think it would probably be like great to use a power block and then a fire flower in like the same turn on a bunch of turtles. Oh, <coughs> oh pardon me. Hmm. <coughs> I love how my dog only decides to eat when I uh, wash my plate. Oh yeah, he you knows for a fact he isn't getting any. <laughs> That's funny. All right, did I get two of those? I sneezed and I forgot where I was at with that. Let's 
got one power block. Okay, I'm gonna get another one. And another mushroom, I think. Uh-oh. What's up with that? Okay, I guess I'll leave this place. See if that fixes it. Uh-oh. Oh, there we go. Okay, all I had to do is click on something else. Uh, don't want that, no. Wanted another POW block. And then another mushroom. I'll have to look at the settings and see if I can optimize it for this game, because I know some of these uh, um, emulators can have like specific settings that work for specific games better. I just encountered that with Drakengard uh, last week in Nier. Thank you very much. Also on this game, it makes me laugh that it's uh, specific to shell enemies, right? Yeah, I know. It's only in their world where there'd be like shell people, right? There's so many different types of Koopas too. Like, I guess I, I get it, you know? Make sure there wasn't like a secret back there. You gotta say little dude. Oh, ha ha ha! You don't have it. The degree, Mario. The degree shows how strong you are. Ha ha ha. I have it. I fought at the JoJo over there and got it from the master. I am the one, I am one bad toad. Why don't you come fight for me, dude? Mario, have you gone back to your house yet? Luigi was wondering how you are doing. You can go home through that pipe in front of the main gate over there. You can enter the pipe by standing on the edge and pushing down on the control stick. Say, why don't you give me a tour of your house someday? I don't know, man. Kind of invite yourself over there. Super dupa sup soups dupa koopas. <laughs> yeah, he invited himself. Absolutely. I guess I can't do anything about this block yet, huh? My hammer is not powerful enough for it. What's this guy got going on? Our master is wandering the world to purify his mind and train his body. Our master was a strong man. He is going to come back a very, very strong man. We will wait here, right here, until our master returns. Waiting is part of our training. Okay, so I'm not allowed to go up there until I meet that guy, I guess. Why, well, hello, ladies. Peach's castle flew away. How could such a thing happen? What? What will become of Princess Peach and the others who were in the castle? I'm scared. I'm scared. Hi, Felisa. T. I'm so scared. She's supposed to be like Felicity, but she's Felicity. Uh, was that a joke? <laughs> Can't type your fright. Oh, it's all good. As long as uh, <laughs> I understand what you're saying, it's all good with me. Okay, so what specifically do I need to do here? Do I need to get beyond here. So, Oh, yeah, there was just a way to exit right here, right? So I'm just walking through town, I guess. Oh, there's more to town. Okay, here we go. Hey, Mario! Word is you needed a shooting star- uh, you needed on Shooting Star Summit. You've never been. Just go through that blue gate there and bear right at Peach's Castle. Oops, I forgot Peach's Castle's gone. I got a post office. I'll save points. Should probably do that. Well, like, let me explore a little bit more. We'll do that before we go out the blue door. How's that? What's this? Looks like a chance room. Merlon is out. Alright. Hello. Greetings. The name's Paracary. I deliver letters. Yes, hello. This is the post office. You can read any letter that's the right for you or, or your other party members. Please drop by now and then to check and see if you've received any mail. Well, oh, you seem to have some mail. Which one would you like to read? Oh, goombario has got a letter from his parents. Red and blue Goombas. Oh, they sent us a letter? Here you go. Goombario. You were a lot stronger than you looked. We figured you were just some punk Goomba hanging around with Mario. Anyway, you proved yourself to us, 
and you showed us that being good is as important as being strong. So, when you come back, do you think maybe we could be friends? Please say yes. We'll be waiting. Red and blue Goomba Bros. Oh, how nice. We'll keep the letters for you. Come on by anytime you want to read some letters. Oh, we got some bad toads there, I saw. Kind of dark. Really? You seem to be in fine shape. Are you sure you want to take a nap? No, I don't want to take a nap. Get out of your toe with that nap shit. You know, these guys, they don't look so nice. It's dangerous out there. I, I wouldn't go. Yeah, you shouldn't go. Nope. No go. Sorry. No go. Alright. Look, I'm in tea. Always with the flowers. She's as pretty as a rose. Just watching her from a distance makes me happy. Is this minty? Water and dirt, sunshine, power. Beautiful blooms, beautiful flowers. Hello, my name is Minty. Please enjoy the, be uh, the beauty of this flower garden. I've heard there's a lovely flower we don't have here. Supposedly, bub bulbs have the only known seeds. This is what a bub bulb looks like. If you find a bubble, would you get seeds for me? I'll plant them in this flower garden and raise them lovingly. Alright. Oh, where am I going? Oh. These building materials used to be stacked by the road, but they all came down when the earthquake hit. Unfortunately, this is impossible to go to the south side of town with all this scattered wood. Don't worry, they're restacking it as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please hear with us. Please bear with us while we get everything in order. All right. Guess we should save and go through the blue door. No. Oh man. Okay, I assume it's saved. <laughs> I'm going to have to assume save. Uh, let me do a save state on the emulator just in case. I really hope I can get this to stop happening. Um, let me see. I got to pop out of there. Save state. There we go. There we go. Okay. Should be good. Oh, hit A. There we go. You just like moved a little bit. No, they broke the fountain. Come on, old dude, talk to me. I can't believe that Princess Peach's castle was here just a little while ago. Wow. I was in the castle when it started to shake, but my lightning quick feet got me out. I know Luigi made it out along with uh, maybe a few others. But everyone else was taken. They were taken. Well, I'm Mario and I have a particular set of skills. Shooting Star Summit. No, you don't say. All the shooting stars are kind of a giveaway. What do we have here? Oh, I'm looking for something? Drop by... Merlovely's place. Okay. Let us investigate the area. Nice little bench back here. Ah, my, my. I foresaw your arrival, Mario. My name is Merlovely. I am a stunning fortune teller. My noble calling is to read fortunes while looking absolutely ravishing. I can help you find what you seek. My twinkle star here will show me all that's hidden. My my. Tell me, shall I reach your fortune? 
Why not? Oh, what do we got? Star piece, five coins, badge, 20 coins, super black. So she's going to just tell me where something is? Well, then I'm good, because I'd probably rather, like, pay for a badge. I guess I'm not sure what star pieces do yet, so maybe we'll have to come back. My, my, are you sure? <coughs> if ever you seek something, please call upon me again. It's empty. Oh, I'm just going to check all of her shit. What you got here? About upstairs, huh? It's gonna go in your private quarters. Hmm. Oh, come on. There we go. This is like a little baby. I'm the famous Merlot of Shooting Star Summit. I collected star pieces. I have the biggest collection. Mister, you have any star pieces? If you do, I'll swap some cool badges for them. Ah, here's what they're for, right? How about it? Let's swap. Which badges do you want to swap for? I think this is called, like, buying it. I don't think it's, like, swapping as much. <laughs> Keeps you from being hit by a first strike. Okay, off. The more damage Mario takes, <clears throat> the more coins he receives. Attack effects A. Changes the sound effects when Mario is attacking. Huh. It's just a badge, this is like a cosmetic. That's kind of interesting, right? It's a super old cosmetic type thing. I really feel like payoff's the only good one here. What else do we have down here? Pretty lucky, makes enemies fail to attack Mario every once in a while. Getting fine, protects Mario from poisoning and dizziness. Stores HP automatically during battle at a slow rate. Ooh, happy heart could be nice. Flower does the same thing, but flower, peekaboo, makes it possible to see your enemy's HP. Oh, that would be nice. Zap tap in battle, makes most enemies who touch Mario take damage. Heart finder, flower finder, self explanatory, HP drain, money, money. After a battle, it's Mario, get twice as much coin. During battle, stays 1 FP every time you attack. Okay. So like all attacks cost one less, I guess is what this sounds like to me. Use Mario's jump and hammer attack powers by one. That could be nice, but man, it's gonna be a while. 25. I wonder how many badge points these take. Keeps you from being hit by a first strike. Could be good, but I don't know how many badge points. Let's do that. I think that'll pay off. Especially early game doing like a coin one. I think that could be good. I'm going to exchange pay off for one star piece. The number of badge points you will need for this badge is two. Damn it. Is this the badge you want? Is it the badge I want? What was the other badge I had on? I think it makes people miss sometimes, right? Oh, this might be better. <laughs> then I can buy stuff. Yeah, let's go for it. I'll want to get it eventually like that. More damage Mary takes, some more coins he receives. All right then, mister, why don't we swap some more? You don't want to? Oh well. At least I was able to add to my radical star piece collection. Please come back and swap some more with me sometime. All right, back to shooting star summit. Gotta look around a little bit, you know. Not much. Wonder if I can hammer these stars. Let's try that. Whoa. Nope. What about back here? Oh, there you go, star piece. Boom! Don't know why it goes to that animation so fast. There he is, the old man star. Welcome, Mario. 
We've been waiting for you. <gasps> it's all of them. We're the seven star spirits. Our job is to grant the wishes of good people from our home in star heaven, a place high beyond the sky. We're going to tell you something incredibly important. Please listen carefully. The other day, Bowser and his followers invaded our peaceful star heaven. They stole our prized treasure, the Star Rod, which we cared for since the beginning of time. The Star Rod is powerful beyond belief. It can grant any wish. For as long as we can remember, Bowser has been making wishes like, for instance, I'd like to trounce Mario, or I want Princess Peach to like me. Of course, stars ignore such selfish wishes. As a result, his wishes were never granted. Bowser, that fiend. When he found out that we were ignoring his wishes, he came and stole the star rod so he could grant his own wishes. He seems content right now, mainly because he defeated you and captured the princess. Soon enough, though, I fear he would wish for more, and then terrible things will happen. It is the responsibility of the Seven Star Spirits to keep the Star Rod safe and use it properly. We must get the Star Rod back from Bowser and return it to the rightful place. In order to do this, Mario, we need your help. Sadly, right now, you are not strong enough to challenge Bowser. He has made himself all-powerful by the making wishes with the Star Rod. He is a terrible to behold. Or he is terrible to behold. Once we seven star spirits are reunited in star heaven, we can give you the power to fight Bowser even with his newfound strength. With our help, you can prevail. Mario, we are. Alas, we've nearly exhausted our power we talk uh, power to talk to you. Although it looks like we're there beside you, it is only an illusion. We're using all of our strength to communicate with you over a great distance. But even now, our strength is fading. We've been caught and we're being held by Bowser's followers in different places throughout the Mushroom Kingdom. Please, Mario. First of all, you must rescue us. In order to take the Star Rod back from Bowser and save Princess Peach, we need your help. Please, Mario. You are our last hope, and we will... Mario, it looks like things are a lot more serious than I thought. Do you think the princess is going to be alright? I'm really worried about her. Alright, save and continue. Should we? Shall we? I'm down to continue a little bit longer. What about you guys? You guys enjoying this? Sniffle. Mario's probably hurt. Everyone's in prison. The Mushroom Kingdom will be destroyed if things continue the way they're going. Something must be done. If only somebody could help me. She's like, oh, somebody at the door? Oh, it's fucking Bowser. <laughs> oh, looks like Niall's down to keep going a little bit. Whoa, my dear Princess Peach, how are you doing this fine day? It's no use waiting for Mario this time, my dear. We're so high above the sky right now, even Mario doesn't have a chance of reaching us up here. You know, Princess, as long as I have this star rod, no one in the Mushroom Kingdom can touch me. You know the power that grants everyone's wishes? It's mine! Isn't that just wonderful? <laughs> Imagine what it's like down there in the kingdom. Your subjects must be so upset because their wishes aren't being granted. Oh, how delightful. They deserve it for the way they've treated us Coopers over the years. If you, you know, want anything, all you need to do is ask me, Princess. I can grant her wishes. Of course, I'll only grant requests that I like. Anyway, think about it. 
You take care, Princess Peach. Enjoy your stay here. You watch yourself, Princess. You'd better not cause trouble. <laughs> oh, please. If only somebody could help me. Oh, another surprise, huh? It's a tiny little star, dude. Hello, Princess Peach! Pleased to meet you! My name is Twink. <laughs> That's a kind of an, a bit of an unfortunate name, if you ask me. But you're... you're a star kid, aren't you? How'd you get here? I came from Star Heaven to grant your wish! It's our job to grant wishes, you know. Oh, you came because I wish that somebody could help me. Yes, of course. Oh, that's just great. Thank you so much for coming. Here's my wish. Go right now and take that star rod back from Bowser, okay? Think you can do that? <laughs> uh... Sorry, that's a little much for a novice star like me. Maybe one of the honorable star spirits from Star Heaven could grant a wish like that. I'm so sorry. Please ask for something easy, something a small star can do. Then can you take me away from here? Everyone in my castle has been captured and I have the to save them as soon as possible. Oh, I'm I'm sorry. I can't grant that wish either, I'm afraid. <laughs> Actually, I, I just got called up to the sky a day ago, so I can't do big wishes yet. <laughs> uh, I'm not sure when you pass out, so do you remember the last thing that um, you saw? I can definitely give you a recap. I'm sure you haven't missed too much. If I were a more splendid star, maybe I could actually help. It's alright, don't be sad, Twink. Mario will definitely do something to save us all. He's probably coming right now. Oh, Twink, do you think you can find Mario? I want to give this to him. This is a lucky star, isn't it? Okay, I'll do it, Princess Peach. I'll fly to the Mushroom Kingdom just as quick as I can. He defeated King Gooba and found the switch in the grass. Okay, so after that, uh, we went... There was a weird graphical error, but we went past the bridge there into Toad Town. And in Toad Town, we just kind of talked to some toads for a little bit. We didn't get a whole lot of, like, story stuff there. Um, then I left, went to Star sh uh, Shooting Star Summit, and we talked to some, like, these weird, like, fortune teller people, and I figured out how to get badges with star pieces. And then I went to stop the top of the summit, and then the, all the star spirits used their, like force projection powers to tell me about like the fact that the star rod is theirs and they need help and they can help mario defeat him if we find all the stars and then right after that um we switched over to peach and peach um is you know just held prisoner or whatever bowser tried to come in and like you know smooth her up or whatever he's like oh i can make all your wishes come true if you just ask me for something but i'll i have to like it and um then as peach was like wishing for someone to come help her this little star named twink unfortunately uh, came in and um is now was trying to help peach but peach asked for a couple things you couldn't do but now she's asking him to take this uh, necklace to mario uh, it's a lucky star necklace so there you go that's where we are didn't miss too much okay i'll do it princess peach i'll fly to the mushroom kingdom just as quick as i can Oh, and we found out that the red and blue Goomba want to be friends with Goombario when they when Goombario comes back home. They they like uh, turn to be good guys. So that's cool. Oh wait, Twink! Wait one second. Can you also please tell Mario that I'm fine and he shouldn't worry? Okay, can you tell him that? Of course, I'll tell him your exact words, Princess Peach. Definitely. Now, don't despair. I'll be back soon to stay safe until I return, okay? Or so stay safe until I return, okay?
Yeah, no problem. Anytime. I know it's hard to get into something if you don't know what's going on, so I try to be good about giving recaps all the time. Just catch-ups or whatever. Mario, where are you? Peach, where are you? Up in the sky somewhere. I guess it'd probably be pretty easy to spot Bowser's castle if it's all the way up in the sky like that. Go. Oh. Oh, sorry, sorry, so sorry. I'm in a huge hurry. Oh, it's... You're Mario, aren't you? Thank the stars I found you. How do you do? I'm Twink. Princess Peach asked me to bring something to you. Uh, yes, here it is. Here, this is it. Take it, take it. Sorry, star shape pendant lets you use the action command. Okay. That's the lucky star from Princess Peach. Now that it's yours, you can use the action command. May I take a moment to explain what the action command is? Yeah, sure. I'm not sure. Is that like the crit, I hit the button all the time or something? Okay, let me explain. Let me see. Hang on. You, behind Mario, would you mind helping me demonstrate something? Me? The name is Goombario. Of course I'll help. Well, Mario and Goombario, let's begin. First, Mario. Choose the jump command and then decide which enemy you want to attack. Once you decide on the enemy, the explanation of the action command will appear. Press A right before landing. Okay, it is that. Right now! Just before stomping the enemy. Press A at exactly this moment. You see, nice up here. It means that you successfully used the action command. When you do, you'll increase the amount of damage you do. Okay, now this time, Gumbario, you tried to attack Mario. Okay, here it comes, Mario! Right now! Press A just before the attack strikes you. Oh, okay, I forgot about the defense part of it. I just remember the attack part. Yes, you successfully used the action command. This will reduce the amount of damage you receive. Often you'll have to use different techniques to make use of the action command. It depends on the attack. Try attacking by hammer. Push left and release when that star lights up. Push left, okay. Once you choose an attack, you move to control stick to the left. Okay, move the control stick. Got it. That's as soon as your power reaches to the maximum. So I just let go and then it goes. Alright, you successfully used the action command. Well, Mario, do you understand the ins and outs of the action command? Let's practice a bit uh, to make sure you've mastered how to use it properly. Uh, yes. I'm not sure exactly. I feel like you asked me two questions there. The action command will serve you well, so practice it. If you're done with the training session, choose the end training command. I'll go ahead and practice it once. Oh, I didn't do it? Almost. That's a little bit too late. Oh, okay. Got that one. Let me try one more time here. Got it. Okay. Well done, Mario. You successfully used the action command. You have a great timing. A little too late there. Almost, I was a little late, or a little bit too early. Oh, okay, too early. I'm sorry, we can end the training. Well, I guess that's about all I can teach you. All right, thanks, Twink. Once you understand how to use the action command properly, you'll be even more powerful. Terrific! You'll be much tougher in battle now. Here you are. I don't know who that's saying that. I hate when I don't know. There he is again. What? It can't be! Were you following me? What a foolish star kid. I knew that if I followed you to find I'd find Mario. If I defeat Mario right now, I'll be famous. I'll tell Cammy Koopa, she'll shower me with praise. She'll give me a raise. Here I come.
Then do like a power jump on him. Dang it. Let's do a tattle. This is a Magic Koopa. Magic Koopas use magical rods. Max HP 8, attack power 3, defense 0. Magic attacks are no joke, Mario. You better take these guys seriously. Blocked it. And I guess let's go ahead and do. I guess I do another power jump. In this quickly. Nice, got him. All right, little dude. Finish him. I lost two HP. Hell yeah. Well done, Mario. You're as strong as they say. Yeah, poof. That's right. It says wizards can't die. I know that you'll be able to defeat Bowser. I just noticed there was a ton of nuclear machine modes. Oh, yeah, yeah. That was something um, they just released today. It was nuclear machine modes. I totally forgot to check those out. Are there any good ones, Nywell? Definitely share them in the chat if you find some good ones there, dude. Oh, nice. An octopus one. Oh, what's that one, Shiloh? That was small for me. Little dude. Was that a cat one? That's cool. Oh, nice. Oh, uh, those are what are the beholders? That's cool. I like that. <laughs> I like how they kind of just seem random a little bit. <laughs> it keeps making your small shout. I think if you just do one, I think it's because you had that, that coal in there. It should uh should make it big. <laughs> I'm going to return the Princess Peach's side. I'm just I'm not strong enough to really help her, but at least I can tell her you're okay. Well Mario, see you later. Yeah, there you go. Oh nice, they just made like a bunch of animal ones, it looks like that's pretty cool. Is that one like a llama or something? What what is that one? It is llama. Okay, cool. I got it. Oh dear, I almost forgot to tell you the message from Princess Peach. I'm all right, so don't worry about me. That's exactly what she said. I get the feeling though that she's very lonely. Anyway, I'll do my best to help the both of you. But please be brave. You must save Princess Peach. See you later. <laughs> you like the this one, this one? This. And there he goes. Back to Bowser's castle. What a brave little guy. Oh, there's a birthday one inside for my birthday. Nice. That's cool. That'll be a fun one to spam that day. Oh, there you go. Nice. That's cool. Little cupcake. Yeah, maybe I should get some sort of a sweet treat that I can have on stream or something so we can do a little celebration. Okay, Mario, let's get down to business. Oh, yeah. Okay, I guess that I'll be able to go down that path in Toad Town. I'll have stacked all the wood or whatever. Oh, Mario! <laughs> Merlon was looking for you. He lives in the house with the spinning roof. He asked me to tell you to go meet him at his house. I was just about to go look for you, but here you are. It's rare for Merlin to call somebody over to his house. He's a bit eccentric. Even when he has visitors, it's rare for him to come out of the house at all. Alright, I'm honored, Merlon. You take a drink of water real quick. Uh, when's my birthday? It's Friday. My birthday will be Friday. Gonna be doing a longer stream where I'll probably do two streams and take a break in between. I'm gonna do Pokemon Snap um, earlier in the day. I took the day off. Um, and then I'm gonna do Near in the evening. Near Replicant. So yeah, get a pretty good variety on Friday then, I think, you know? You know like family friendly stuff at the beginning, and then we end up with something um, a little bit more serious. Are you gonna miss Pokemon Snap? I mean, I don't know how long I'll end up playing it, so I mean, if it ends up being like a super duper fun, who knows? Maybe it'll run more into the, the evening, I don't know. I just also bought myself Nier, and I want to start doing Nier on um, Fridays, when we're not doing Community Day. Switching to Stanny, if you guys can't tell. Anyway. 
Yeah, it'll be pretty cool. Uh, and the, the the Pokemon Snap is the one they they just came out with a new one. So I'll be playing the new one on Friday. It comes out on my birthday. So that'll be cool. And I need my. Oh yeah, it feels good for my legs. It still says Merlon is out. That can't be true, but he guess he wanted me to come over. Why do you keep on knocking? I'm telling you, he's out. What the? Why is someone sleeping in front of my house? Wait a minute. That face seems very familiar to me. Oh, maybe. No. Yes, it must be. You are Mario. I've been waiting for you. You should have come earlier. Well, you're here now. Come in. Yeah, I'm pretty excited for, uh, for Friday. I think it's going to be a cool day. Just be hanging out, streaming, playing games, hanging out. Where to begin? My name is Merlin. I am a wizard. Wizards never die. When I was reading the stars the other day, an oracle came to me. What I discovered is very important, and it concerns you. But before I tell you about it, there are other things of which I must speak. It is a very long story, but I will try to shorten it. Where should I start? It was in the old days. One of my ancestors was up on Shooting Star Summit, and as usual. But one day it happened. Suddenly, a great appeared, and I, standing face to face, then the far away, the pious, was raised me up. It was amazing. I was still so young then, I, I believe in, but our hearts were. And then, so. Oh man, it's a long story, isn't it? <laughs> now Mario's asleep now. And then I thought about that, and I went to the grocery store, and then I saw a few friends of mine there, and, oh wait, where was I? And that is all that matters. <laughs> huh, hey! Mario, were you listening to me? Oh, yeah. No, oh, all right. So anyway, that that is why I'm able to help you. If you get lost uh, during your adventure, you can come to me. I can predict the path you should take for a small price. Right now, your main goal must be to save Princess Peach as quickly as humanly possible. But... According to my second sight, your path must first take you to the great fortress of the Koopa Bros. To reach the Koopa Bros fortress, head east on the road in front of the Koopa that in your pipe and of the house. No, oh, still donated $25. Is that for a uh, birthday? I, I didn't quite read the message there. I, I wish I had a way of keeping the message up and not the meme. One sec. I think I can read your message here. Oh, come on, Streamlabs. Load up. Load up. I'll get there still. One sec. I guess I hadn't refreshed my Streamlabs page here. Oh, here we go. Recent events. I need to have this one up all the time. Oh, thank you. Lunch is on me. Oh, thank you so much. You're so nice. I really appreciate that. That is huge. Thank you so much. Hey, what's up, Miss Minnie? Not a whole lot. Uh, Stella, which is awesome, and donated twenty-five dollars because it's my birthday this Friday. This is pretty cool. But we're playing some Paper Mario. I'm still pretty much in the beginnings of it. Um, right now, we're just finding out that uh, we need to go to the Koopa Bros Fortress to save the first star because there's like five star people and. They're going to help Mario defeat Bowser because Bowser's got this rod that's got a star on it and grants everybody's wishes. It's been a pretty interesting story so far. I don't remember it as a kid. I played this once as a kid and I don't remember anything from it other than enjoying it. But how are you doing today, Mindy? Hopefully you're having a good one. 
So yeah, I started this game today. It's actually the first part because we're going to try to do some Mario Mondays for a while and see how that works out. So far, it seems like everybody's liking it. I'm having a good time doing all the voices. No excuse not to treat yourself. You're right. There you go. Now I have to get something good for lunch on my birthday. Oh yeah, a little bit of it's done. Let's see. These building materials used to be stacked by the, uh, by the road, but they all came down when the earthquake hit. Unfortunately, it's impossible to go to the south side of town with all this scattered wood. Don't worry, we're stacking as quickly as possible. I know it's inconvenient, but please bear with us while we get everything in order. Alright, so still not that way. He said east from the first area, right? So maybe it's that way those guys wouldn't let me go, right? Those dark, totally dudes. Yeah, still nobody's picked that shit up, right? I mean, they did pick up uh, the boxes. I think the boxes were a little bit more organized, but yeah, the wood's still gone. Come on, guys. Not bad to complete Castlevania today. Oh, hell yeah, that's awesome. Hell yeah. Oh, it looks like that guy's master came back. Let's go up here. Uh, did you uh, stream that, Mindy, or did you kind of just do that on your own? I was really enjoying you watch. Uh, really enjoying watching you play that. I never uh, played that as a kid, but I would have loved that game. I'm gonna have to go revisit it at some point. Hey, stream today. Oh man, I can't even miss that. I'm sorry. So caught up with work today. I didn't get to watch too many streams. A wise fighter knows that sometimes the best tactic is not to fight at all. There is no cowardice in choosing to run away from a superior foe. Of course, you will find some enemies that are impossible to escape once in battle. Face them with bravery. Alright. I like how they have, like, karate noises in the background of this. <laughs> it was impromptu, so... Oh, okay, right on. I really want to get that uh, mobile app going, because I really, like, for me, it streams so much easier when I see the stream notification on my mobile app, like, on a Twitch app. Um, so I can't wait until Glimish gets that, because I don't check my email as much. And do you not watch streams at work, Tom? Yeah, no. Well, so I, I do most of the time, to be honest. It's just like sometimes, uh, some days are easier than others, you know what I mean? Because <laughs> it is a nice thing to have in the background. I totally would have brought your stream up, Mindy, if uh, I would have thought about it. <clears throat> are the bad games that people make them out to be? Yeah, see, that's a shame that people do that. Because I have heard some people say bad things about, specifically all the 3D Castlevania games, I think, are the ones that usually get the hate. All the 2D ones have been pretty well received, I think, but... I think both of them are cool. They both have their merits. You know what I mean? I mean, I totally get that Symphony of the Night was amazing, but <laughs> the 3D ones are cool, too. <clears throat> oh, you must be Mario. Welcome to my dojo. I am the master. I am the head of this dojo. <laughs> Please pardon. <clears throat> my health is rather delicate. Every day we train in this dojo to improve body and mind. Yeah, I think it can definitely sell. Uh, she said, "Learn and work improves productivity." In my book, I could definitely um, see that because sometimes it is kind of nice just to have something off to the side, just like some noise or whatever, even sometimes or whatever. Uh, I think it's cool, and it almost feels like you're not alone. So, like working from home, I think it's kind of nice too, because uh, then it still feels like you're hanging out with somebody. Like I can still like go over and you know say hey to whoever. If I uh, want to just take a minute or whatever. I think that's pretty cool. Download the PS2 Castlevania ones as well. I had Lament of Innocence back in the day. Great game. Yeah, you know, I actually had downloaded Lament of uh, Lament of Innocence not too long ago after I watched Funhouse playing it on one of their... Uh, they were making fun of it, of course, and saying it was bad, but it looked really good to me. So I'm like, you know, I'm going to download that. I haven't played that one. <laughs> so if you're going to play that on a stream, I'll definitely try to check that out. That one, it seemed pretty cool. Oh yeah, I already read that one. If you have the purpose and the desire, you may challenge us. Tell me, what business have you here today? <laughs> uh, should I try? I mean, I don't know what this gets me. I guess we'll try it, right? Why not? Very well. <clears throat> then Chan will fight you. Now, Chan, it is time for you to fight Mario. As you say, master. In this tiny room. Silent Hill 2 is next. Nice. There you go. Cool. Hey, what's up, Tyler? How you doing, dude? Good to see you, buddy. Let me give it a hello to everybody who's coming in. Hey, Mayday. <laughs> God, that one sounded really loud to me, too. Meyer, here comes the Chan Man. That little dude is Chan? Oh, I thought it was the big guy. Was I talking to that little thing the whole time? I thought I was talking to that person next to it. 
Oh, that'd be so funny if it was a turtle Osage. I guess we'll hit him with the old hammer. Hammer slammer. Oh, he's got the, uh... The shield. <laughs> Quit that fucking job. <laughs> oh man, did they treat you like shit, man? I'm sorry if it was something bad that got you to quit. I, you know, I'm glad that you know you you saw that you needed to leave when you left. But I'm doing good, man. You know, it's another Monday, but we're having a good time with some Paper Mario, man. So you're gonna be doing those. Uh, boss was a real miserable prick all day. Oh gosh, dude. Yeah, hopefully you know people like leaving like that will hopefully maybe send some sort of message i don't know sometimes you like you wonder if those people really like pay attention to and stuff but um at least you don't have to go back <laughs> i guess we can say that right this is chan of the dojo he's training under the master and is happy to fight us max hp 15 attack power 2 defense power 2. hammer attacks don't work well but you can turn him over with jump attacks once he's flipped over he's easy oh shit okay no mercy, Mario. Oh, damn. All right, so I got to jump on him first. Right, boom. Now, how dishonorable. Damn it, I missed the timing. So is that the only way I can... I have to flip him over every time? Oh, no, not hammer. Just went over this. Boom. But he can never damage me because his move is just flipping up, right? So, we're good. Great way to practice my timing. <laughs> oh, nice. Extra damage on his little ass. Come on, get him. Boom. Boom. Whittle him down. How oh, dishonorable. Ooh. Ooh. It'll be so annoying to be like that character. Constantly getting turned over at <laughs> that and there's nothing you can do. How oh, frustrating. We're bullying this guy. Right, if I can nail this one, then we'll get him. Okay, just gotta get the combat action on this old dude, and... Uh, nice! Got you, big buck! Just so glad I don't have to go to bed early every night now. Yeah, there you go, dude! Should be around more again. That's awesome, dude. Well, I'm excited to hear that. Always like having you around, bud. And hopefully, you know, just uh, find better employment elsewhere, you know? Are you going to be doing more of that grocery with the Instacart? Is that what you were doing the other day you were telling me about? Bedtime for me. See you guys tomorrow. All right, Shadow, sounds good. Have a good night. Thanks for hanging out. We're glad to see you again. I'm sure I can speak for everybody to say that we were happy to have you here. Enough. The winner is Mario. Jan, you must train harder. Very well. I can give you this, Mario. The first degree card. Free from Mario's strength. Won by defeating Chan at the dojo. You are welcome to train here with us anytime. <laughs> you better get that cough like that, man. I don't know what this box has to do with anything. I'm sure I'll be able to break it one day. Guess I could sleep, and now that I went through that little battle, I could probably use a sleep. And then we'll move on. How's that sound? I think the sleepy place was over here. Yes, yes, yes. Did you consult my aunt about the tax implications? I'll have to file quarterly. Oh, okay. Because they don't take the taxes out, you'll have to do it manually. Is that how that works? I've never had a situation like that. You yeah, gotta get that stuff figured out. I hate taxes for that. It's so complicated. It's not a 1099 kind of deal. I have never been a contractor, so we're self employed. Yeah, yeah, me either. I was thinking since it was Instacart that they would like make it easier by streamlining it by making it a 1099 thing, maybe. But yeah, it's interesting. 
Now that your body and soul are refreshed, your travels will seem much easier. Thank you, little toad man. Let me sleep in your bed. He's got, um, what do they call those? Airbnb. Except there was no breakfast. They leave you on your own. Man, that's rough. Well, they do pay you pretty well, right? I like what you were saying the other day. It sounded pretty good. Oh, wait, that's not the where. Which way? It said go east, right? I don't know. I'm just trying to find that area where the dark toad dudes were. Maybe that was in this other area. Maybe that was past the sleeping spot? Can't go down, so it must be this way. Can I pass? You don't want to go out there. It's way too dangerous. Going to Koopa Bros Fortress would be a huge mistake. Definitely, definitely don't go. Most of all, though, you shouldn't go ask old man Merlon for help. That would be really bad news for us. I mean, for you. Don't even think about it. Oh, okay. I won't think about it. I'll just do it. <laughs> yeah, dark toads, yeah. The payouts are really nice, but they don't take taxes out, so you've got to be careful down the line. Right, yeah, maybe the payouts look nice because they don't take the taxes out, <laughs> right? I'm sure my payouts at work would be looking real nice if I didn't get my taxes paid. <laughs> pulled out. Oh, uh, Mario, do you want me to predict the path you should take? Cost five coins? It's acceptable. No, I don't want... I thought I was supposed to ask him for help. All right, wherever you lose your way, come to me. Require something other than fortune telling, stand beside me to talk to me. Okay, thank you. <laughs> Come again? Strange toads blocking the east side of Toe Town? That shouldn't be. That's ridiculous. Such a thing has never been heard of, never. I'll get to the bottom of this. Follow me over there. I'll see what's going on. I bet it's the uh, the Koopa Bros, right? They just like turn themselves. Maybe that's the thing they can do is shape shift. The Bowser was like, oh man, I'm so impressed. And they've shape-shifted into these toadlies. I didn't have to pay benefits and tax. Yeah, right, exactly. If I didn't have to pay all that stuff, I'd be making bank. Well, you know, everybody's got to help uh, cook this big pie we call America or whatever. <laughs> it's so good, especially considering I'm on the bottom of the barrel in, tax, in terms of tax brackets. Yeah, that's true. One of the benefits of being on the bottom is that you don't get as much taken from you, right? Probably get less taken from you, and the pitch rich should have more taken from them, but you know, whatever. <laughs> Are these strange toads you were talking about? I told you that you can't pass. Take off. <laughs> you aren't toads, are you? Um, we don't know what you're talking about. Yeah, what gives? Ask anyone, we're just cute, ordinary toads hanging out. Reveal your true selves. Abracadabra. I knew it! Hm. Just as I thought, you're the Koopa Bros. How? How did you guess it was us? We were perfectly disguised. Shucks. Black, yellow, green. We retreat for now. Mario, those imposters were none other than the Koopa Bros. You must pursue them to their hideout, the Koopa Bros Fortress. Aptly named. Oh, Mario, there's one part of the fortune I haven't revealed. To get to the Koopa Bros Fortress, you'll need to help from a blue-shelled Koopa. This is a strange portent. In Koopa Village, you might find something that will clear it up. I must return home now. Okay. Interesting. Ninja Koopas, right? He needs mutant Ninja Koopas. This is out the create card in Stream Loots. Oh, nice. So you broke down some cards and stuff? So? Did you get a card that you wanted? Did it let you create any card that you wanted to? I mean, I know that but maybe more resources for, for more higher rarity cards or whatever, but I'm really hoping we can figure something out to to get people what they want, you know? So 
So if I jump on this Koopa dude, since he's a shell dude, does that do something? Okay, puts him on his back, cool. Dang it, didn't time that right. I was hoping to get the Koopa down, or the Goomba. Okay, we'll go ahead and finish him off. All right, double bumping, bro. They still can't get up, huh? Hammer time. Boom! Is that for scale of the rate cards require more materials? You first joined the stream, but then... Yeah, yeah, she was in the Twitch chat before, yeah. Yeah, still doesn't keep an eye on Twitch, is that for me? Oh, and jump. Got him. Yeah, I need to take a closer look at what some of those cards cost, too, because I know I can go through with each card and edit that stuff. It has a bunch of defaults in there already, uh, but I need to kind of make sure that it's kind of set up the way I want, you know? Jump on this guy back here. So just take him out. Yeah. All right, little dude, finish him off. Can't stop us now. Gotcha. First strike. Okay, so I'll do hammer on him. He's down four, and then hopefully this little dude can take out this guy in one attack. Nice! Got him. Oh, come on. <laughs> I'm in the shadow, all right? Now. There you go. You got the dizzy attack badge. Delivers a blow that makes an enemy dizzy and unable to move. Okay, can we put it on? How many points does it take? The dizzy attack is two as well. Can I turn one off then? A close call, I don't need as much. Maybe dizzy attack would be better. Because then if they can't move, then I don't need the close call as much because they can't attack. They should just put these right up against the wall, because I just like to go to the back and try to make sure I can hit it. Oh, cool, we got a free Fright Jar. We got a power block, got all of that. It's going to be good for these shell dudes. Oh, dang it. <laughs> He's fast. I guess I should jump on those. I tried to hammer him, but that was probably about a damn. Jump on this guy. Nice, got some extra damage on them. They're trying to flip, but they can't. Because you're a turtles. No, we're really hammering him. <laughs> Dare you to jump? Oh, I'm jumping. But dang it, I missed the combo. He's so mad. Nice, I'm getting that thing mo most of the time, so that's good. All right, then what do we do here? Oh, is this where the jump we met was? No, jump this way. Oh, there we go. Simple puzzle. It's pretty cool. I like that animation. I feel like they really go way more ham with the whole paper part of the Paper Mario in every other Paper Mario. Ah, dang it. Come on. I whacked him. Yeah, I can't jump at him with the other dude, so maybe I'll just do a tattle. 
This is a spike Goomba. Spike Goombas are Goombas with spikes on their heads. HP2 attack power 2. Whatever you do, don't jump on their spikes. You don't get hurt or even paralyzed. Dang it. Um, I mean, I can't really do anything, right? Strategies do nothing. Okay, there we go. I forgot I can do the one for blocking, too. I keep forgetting that. Nice. No, no, you meant combat. Okay. <laughs> yeah, sure. Oh, look at that. Got a mushroom. First strike. Oh, okay. So I need to have... Oh, no. That's not what I meant to do. I meant to hit back, and then I hit A. Whoops. Alright, that's fine. Because he can't do anything. He's going to do nothing. That was not efficient. Come on, and then I didn't get it. At least I'm getting those uh, defensive things. <gasps> da -da -da. Probably she's more firepower. Ooh, a sleep thing, sleepy sheep. What do we have here? Oh. Oh, okay. Should I try hitting this tree? Would this do anything? Guess not. Looks like there's some way to get a bridge there. Got him. Made the first strike. And you're on your ass. Um, okay, so I should probably use a power jump. I gotta hope I time this right. Huh. Nice, four. And then he can use his head bonk on the back guy. Dang it. <laughs> I missed time that one. Oh, shit. Gotcha. I think when the guys are a little bit like the flying guys are a little bit harder to time just because the animation gets to them a little bit quicker, it seems like. Nope, oh, and oh come on. Yeah, what's up, Deku Ben? Good to know you're still hanging out, dude. Toe Town, Koopa Bros Fortress, or Koopa Village. Might have to go to Koopa Village first. <laughs> All right, yeah, I love that so far. I mean, it can be, it's a little pixelated in some area that probably could use a little bit of a remaster, but you don't gotta do much. You can't carry any more items. Throw an item away to make room. Okay, I can do that. Can I just... Use an item though. If I hit B, can I? Oh no, I threw away the honey stone. Okay, yeah, okay, well, speak for yourself. Other people might like a remaster. All right, I got plenty of mushrooms. Let's go ahead and eat one of these bad boys. Can I use it here? Oh, I can't use it. I guess I can only use a battle. Okay, I thought I could use them outside of battle, but that's fine. No big deal. I guess I can let that... I don't really use the fire power too much right now, so... I think I'll be alright. Oh, man. Got the surprise attack on me. Alright, let's see. What would be the best thing to do? I can't hammer him yet, so... If I knock him down, can I run past him? We can try that out. Z. Let's try knocking him down with this dude. 
Okay, I didn't get the, the combo on him. That's right. Now, can I move past him? I can't. Okay, that's fine. No big deal. Just use some of our flower power on this guy. Nice. Let's see. I don't think I need a heal. Oh, yeah, I do because I'd like to use one of those uh, mushrooms. I forgot about that. I gotta use it in battle. So we'll make Little Kumba do it. Oh, he can't do it. Okay. That's fine. Just gotta remember to defend. And he'll just have to chill out. And whoop. Oh, nice. A little bit of defense going on there. Alright, four points. Oh gosh. No oh, first strike, got him. Oh man, they're getting a lot of these little bastards. Alright, let's see. Guess we'll just start him at the front. It sucks that the little dude can't do much here, but that's alright. Might have to eat another mushroom pretty soon. Oh, I hit the wrong button. Darn it. <laughs> Not gonna defend that button. There we go. Alright, let's hammer time this guy. Sweet. So one less guy coming to take damage on us. Boom. Damn it. What's that one? Alright, mushroom time. Guess I need to use some of my other more powerful items just to make room too, huh? Keep that in mind next time I fight somebody big. Ah, oh, dang it, I missed that too. Come on, Dom. Nice, knocked his block off. Da -da -da -da. So can't quite jump that high yet, huh? Even if I do a cool spin attack? What does that spin attack even do? I guess probably for speedrunners, for sure. Alright, let's see. What do we got here? No entry allowed, Mario. Yours truly, the Koopa Bros. Oh, you sons of bitches. This is why I gotta go to Koopa Town or whatever. Do, 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 do. I think it said this way it was Koopa Town. This is a pretty cool map. Oh, oh come on, am I not standing in that shadow? There we go. Attack effects badge B changes the sound effects when Mario's attacking. So does that cost any badge points? Or is that just like a cool thing you can have? Zero batch points needed. Cool, so I can try that out. Okay, we'll have to see what that, that does. It can't be! Are you Mario? Welcome to Koopa Village! I wish I could really welcome you, but we're in big trouble. Can't you see what kind of madness is going on? This village is in an uproar because of the fuzzies. You... Do you know what fuzzy are like? Don't you, Mario? They look like this. Yes, I know fuzzies. Mean guys. They're really naughty. There's one now. He took your shell. It's like pantsing those guys. Oh no, stupid fuzzy. Get back here with my shell. Oh, poor little guy. <laughs> I can help him. Pop. Stupid fuzzies. Are you guys supposed to be on a rail somewhere? Oh, thank you, Mario. I owe you one. I just can't walk around without my shell on. Talk about embarrassing. Mario, be sure to keep your shell safe from fuzzies, all right? Oops. Uh, you don't have one. Well, watch your overalls. <laughs> all right. You're going to get me naked up in here, huh? No, we take a nap. Yeah, let's take a nap. 
pleasant dreams. You know, all those fuzzies, you know, s s fuck up all those Koopas. Let's we'll take a nap. Who cares? We don't care. Did you sleep well? Great, have a good adventure. There you go, buddy. Get your shell back. Yeah, not naked anymore. Oh, you're the best. Thank you very much. There you go, my friend. Thanks, Mario. This shell was ma made to order. That's why it fits me so well. I mean, how cool do I look? So who makes your shells? I don't, what was that about? A Koopa leaf. A leaf found in Koopa Village. This word is 3 FP. Okay. Okay, okay, okay. Okay, I missed a few bushes over here. Oh, what's that? Dried shroom. Very dry shroom restores 1 HP. Okay, that doesn't really do a whole lot for me. Just takes up room in my inventory. Alright, nothing there either. Let's check out the item shop. Oh, what do we got here? Dizzy Dial. If it works, dazes and paralyzes all enemies briefly. Okay. How much money I got? 54? Okay. Push shell enemies and inflicts. Yeah, I knew that. What's this one? Volt Shroom. Electrifies Mario briefly and damages enemies who touch him. That could be cool, too. Thinking I probably want to have a mushroom in my back pocket. Oh, I have too many items. To sell. Check or use some items. How do I sell items? This is the reliable and incredible Koopa shop. Well, what do you want? I guess we're going to sell. So which item do you want to sell me? Okay. What do we got way too much of? I don't need two sleepy sheep, I don't think. Four coins? Ah, oh, man. All right. They got me by the balls here. This dried shroom. Don't need that. Three pow blocks and a mushroom. Probably get rid of the pow blocks. I don't know. I might need it because I'm about to fight a bunch of turtle dudes, right? So we'll probably keep those. Maybe just grab an extra mushroom. There we go. And away we go. Look at this guy. He's got his own little beach house in here. Supposedly, these bomb moms recently ran away from the Koopa Bros fortress. Of course, things aren't much better here in the village. The fuzzies are running wild. Poor little bomb moms. Huh? Me? I don't leave my house because I couldn't bear it if the fuzzies made a fool of me. They'd probably take my shell and play with it. I don't... I know I don't look cool without my shell. Nope. They all just don't want to not look cool. <laughs> no, thank you. I'd rather just stay here and listen to music. You must listen. The Cooper Bros in the fortress worked us too hard. As far as they're concerned, the laborers have no rights. I will never, ever go back to work in such a terrible place. We're bomb moms. We just ran away from Koopa Bros Fortress. We thought we'd at least find some peace here in the village. Boy, we were wrong. The fuzzies are running wild around here. All we want is a little peace. Golden Oldie Station. Information Station. Newsflash. Fuzzies are running rampant in Cuba Village. Officials advise extra caution when traveling in and around the village. I'll leave him there with the news. Uh, 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 uh. Let's try to save, see if it lets me. Come on, show me the screen. Oh, it just automatically saved? Okay, that's weird. Last time, it just went black. <laughs> so, good to know that all I have to do is tap this. Hmm, I got a mischief Koopa. These fuzzies, will their mischief never end? My husband is never here when there's trouble. My husband? No, his name is Colorado. You've heard of him. He claims to be a famous explorer. 
If he knows if it's true or not, he runs with his mouth a lot. Okay. You go back into your back room. Peruse through your husband's books. This is the bookshelf in Colorado's room. Most of the books seem to be about archaeology. There are also a few that seem somewhat less intellectual. Alright. Maybe more for pleasure and entertainment? Stupid little fuzzy. That fuzzy took my shell. I ran after it, but it just laughed and taunted me. Oh man, the trolls to the core. Okay, let me go after him, dude. Photography. me. Oh man. He's a feisty little dude. Boy? Boy? Maybe I gotta do something with this. Oh, here, I can do this, at least. <laughs> that one house is just bouncing all over the place. Shit's going down in there. Someone's getting it on. There you go, little guy. I got one shell down. I might have known. You're so clever, Mario. Hey. This one's a tough one. There must be a trick to it, right? Oh, I got another Koopa leaf. You fudges won't be me, behold my power! Whoa! Holy super fast. Uh, how was that? Super power, wasn't it? Yeah, but you didn't do anything, dude. Alright, let's check out what's going on. Some people getting jiggy with it up in here, or what? Who's there? I'm kinda busy right now. You can see that. No, it's the blue shell dude. I need him. What? Wait, could it be? Aren't you Mario? You are! My name's Cooper. Oh, I'm so psyched to meet you. Us meeting here has got to be fate or something. I need a huge favor. I hope you can help me out. This wild fuzzy took my shell, which next to my life is the most important thing I have. Can't go out without my shell, period. Way too embarrassing. You're out here right now. The problem is the fuzzies are too fast for me to catch them alone. So if you don't mind, can you help me get my shell back? I'm begging you. Hey, Mario. It looks like he's in a bad way. We ought to help him out. The fuzzy that took my shell is just inside my house. I'll guard the door while you grab him like whoop. Oh, I'll give him some whoop ass. I'll be a whooping. Mirok. <laughs> Oh, excuse me. A little sneezy there. Pardon. Where'd he go? That son of a bitch. Nope. Oh, got in a battle with some fuzzies. I don't know what they're weak against or whatever, but maybe we'll just start with a jump and see what happens. They're fuzzies, so they might give damage to me, but I mean, fuzz is like hair, right? So it shouldn't be... Yeah, we're good. Cool, that's one down. We have three or four health. That was hard to know when to hit the button. So the sound was the doop doop, I guess. <laughs> I think so. Okay, well, I can ignore the blue show for now. I'll do this real quick. Huh. Oh, dang it. I guess I can't jump that far even, can I? Nope, not yet. Maybe I'm getting at something that makes me faster or something. I'm giving chase. In a tree, huh? Mirok, Mirok. Come get it if you can. <laughs> now then he said something. Mirok, guess where I'm hiding? It's like, let's play a game. You're hiding right here, dude. 
Neo. Not bad, chump. But that was just a warm-up. Mirok, guess where I'm hiding? All right, I believe. Boop. York, Mirok, you got me twice. Must have been luck. Now I'm serious. Guess where I'm hiding? Far left, it looked like. Mirok, no! I give Uncle. Here, take the stupid shell. Super shell. You're too tough for me. I don't. I won't be bad anymore. I promise. Maybe. You're so naughty, you little fuzzies. So naughty. I was thinking maybe I could inspect the wishes. I guess not. Oh, he's mad. Mario, there you are. I realize I have to take a stand against these fuzzies. If I can't get my own shell, I'll lose my reputation. I don't even care that I have no shell on. I'm gonna show those fuzzy with what? Uh, we already got the shell back. No, yes, yes, this is my shell, all right. Oh, yeah, oh, yeah, got my shell back, uh-huh. You're the greatest, Mario. I owe you big time. Good to hear you're happy. Say, Mario, I have an idea. Do you happen to know Professor Colorado? Naturally, he's a Koopa who's a professor of archaeology. He's also known as an explorer. Right. Well, I live next to him. I've been admiring Professor Colorado ever since I was an egg. Nothing would make me happier than traveling the world, solving mysteries like he does. So do you think... Could I... Please take me with you, Mario. I'll help. Come on, let me go. What do you think, Mario? Let's take him with us. Oh, yes, yes. I am on my way. I swear, I, Cooper, will follow you anywhere, even to the ends of the earth. Cooper, join your party. It's time to make him throw himself and reach an item or a switch in the distance. Ah, okay. In a battle, he can attack an enemy on the ground with a shell toss. Or attack all enemies on the ground with power shell. When you want to switch your partners, press right and select the member you want to use. Dear Oak. I changed my mind, sucker. How about a fight? Okay, then we gotta use Cooper. Alright, Coop. This is kind of your uh, big moment here. Go ahead and do a jump. Get that out of the way. He's gonna do his power shell. Throw a shell at all enemies on the ground. Three flower points. Who cares? Let's do it. Really? Power shell? That's all it did? I mean, I know I didn't nice it, but dang. <laughs> okay, I'm not sure when to hit that. Kiss. Kiss. There maybe it's a second kiss sound effect. I'll, I'll hit the button maybe. You can use power shell. <laughs> oh yeah, I like the the sysadmin stuff. Yeah, he can get a job as a sysadmin with that skill. That's right, dude. Whip up some good little programs. Dude is a whiz with Windows. Man, that power shell would have been great if I would have gotten them all. Okay, now I know when to press it. Guess I should have attacked the guy in the back with Mario. Maybe could have got them both. But that wasn't a nice thing. I thought I timed that perfectly. 
Miroko, no! We'll be good, we'll be good. That's right, gotta beat him in the submission. That's how Mario does, man. And take shit from nobody. Oh, I guess it was a badge. <laughs> if I like move at all while I'm in that little window, it uh, just skips it, it seems like. Yeah, HP plus, what does that do? Increases maximum HP by five. Okay, well, it's three badge points, so maybe later, perhaps later. Okay, so now I should be able to use the shell thing to get this guy's thing back, right? No, no. No, no, we're good. The fuzzies are gone. Oh, yeah, I guess they meant we'll be good as in all of them, even the ones that were back in town. Oh, push, push, Mario, push. Boop. Stoppies. Oh, look at that guy with a sweet hat. What's your deal? Kawiz Chuck Quizmo is the name, and quizzes are my game. I want quizzes. I got them. If you can manage to answer my brain-busting questions correctly, then... Yeah, yeah, yahoo, I'll give you a star piece. Wanna try a quiz? Alright, I'll try. <laughs> I just saw the nerd humor. That's a good uh, emote for that. Then let's go to the question. Question. What is the name of Goombario's youngest sister? Goombaria. Correct! Congratulations! Here's your star piece! Nice. One question? You've correctly answered one question so far. Good luck next time! Well, well, so long, farewell, till we meet again! And then he just teleports away. That was a pretty badass little animation for back in the day. <laughs> I love this narration. Thanks, dude. He just seemed like he needed that kind of voice, you know what I mean? If the shell fits. <laughs> you reminded me of, uh, what was that? That goose guy from, um, what was it called? Adventure Time? What's his name? Spruce Goose? It was reminded me of that guy. <laughs> I think it's a Spruce Goose. Was that the, his name? Oh, welcome, young fella. I'm the elder of Koopa Village. Folks call me Koopa Coot. Say, might you do me a favor? Oh, how very kind of you. I guess the younger generation isn't so bad after all. Well then, young fella, I don't usually ask for favors, but... Perhaps just one little one? Could you borrow the book Koopa Legends from Colorado? I'm currently... If you were to ask Colorado's wife, she'd lend it. Oh, I'm certain. I don't know why I said currently. If it isn't a trouble, please go there as soon as possible. You promise, young fella. Alright, just right down the street. Oh, little Cooper is going on in Mario's uh, going on on Mario's adventure. How cute! Take care. Oh, do you need something? You're doing an errand for the Elder, are you? Hmm, right. Koopa Legends. Yes, my husband owns that one. Of course, you could borrow it. Don't let that old coot work you too hard, okay, Mario? He's known to do that. He's also a bit short-tempered. Well, anyways, wait here for just a moment. I'll go poke around my husband's bookshelf. Found it! You're talking about this book, right? It's all yours. It was behind the bookshelf. You got Koopa Legends. Colorado's strange book. Deliver this to Koopa Coot. It's strange, that book. It has all these pictures of shells and exercises. Firmer shells in 30 days? <laughs> That's pretty funny. Trying to get jacked, dude. Old dude just wants to get jacked, man. Let's get a nice, firm shell, if you know what I mean. It's kind of hard for those old Koopas to keep those shells firm. You old old man. 
Great galloping Goombas. You're a lifesaver, Mario. This is just what I needed. <laughs> to show my gratitude, I'd like to make a gift of this. Oh, you don't have to be so polite, young fella. Take this. <laughs> he gives you one coin. I like that. I feel like kids wouldn't have really got that joke all that much, but that's pretty funny. I like that. A little bonsai tree. That's cool. Alright, what is this? Huh. Don't know. But I think it is after 9. I think I'm going to find a save point and then we'll call it a stream. We made some pretty... Oh, there's a save point right there. We made some pretty good progress today. Save. Save completed. Alright. All right, well, thanks, everybody, for hanging out. I really appreciate you guys. And thank you for those donations again, so I really, really appreciate that. That's so nice of you. I'm definitely going to try to get myself something nice and tasty for uh, for my birthday. Get a little music going in here real quick. Going to go over the schedule. All right, so uh, let's see. What do we got on the... The menu this week so tomorrow we're gonna be doing some stanley parable uh definitely check the discord everybody who hasn't yet there is a current poll for the next story time tuesday there was a weird thing with a uh, poll bot where it uh, was not online for a couple of days so i couldn't do the poll uh, when i wanted to so i wanted to give you guys more time so i've just decided to do stanley parable tomorrow and then uh, the one that's currently being voted on right now will be the one after that so definitely go in there and check those out uh, yeah, Nightwolf, uh, he voted for Nightcall, which looks pretty cool. We got two detective ones on there. I think the flower collectors are also a detective one. And then I think Undertale was the other, the third one. So check those out. I also found uh, Nightwolf gave me some new games to add to the list. I found some new games over the weekend to add to the list. So I think we're going to be getting some fresh material in the voting for uh, Storytime Tuesday. So that'll be cool. Um, let's see. So that's Tuesday. Wednesday, hopefully, Raft with Lemur and Moth, if I can get that work together. They said that they would be down, I believe, so I just got to go ahead and make sure I get everything clean before I say 100% we're doing it. So hopefully, Raft on Wednesday, Thursday. Um, it will be Automation Thursday. I'm hoping I can do Satisfactory again. I'm still going to hope, but uh, we'll see. No promises there. It might be about healthy. I, I, I don't know. I also have that day off, so maybe I'll do my stream a little bit early. I don't know. We'll see. Not so sure. And then Friday, we're going to have Pokemon Snap, middle of the day and then near uh, replicant uh, that evening so that's the schedule for this week guys so yeah come hang out that'll be great anyways uh yeah thanks again guys good stream thank you nightwolf thank you very much thank you tyler you have a good night as well everybody have a good night and we'll uh, see you tomorrow for some stanley parable it's a real fun funny game and we should get through it in one day so it'll be fun see you then later guys